and Dots Pretzels and Buck Liquors and Deer Feed. Don't forget to check out our large selection of muck boots and space heaters. That's Hilltop Hardware and Lumber in Idabel and Hochitown. Bank of Locksburg is now Southern Bank Corp. We're a mission-driven community development bank based right here in Arkansas, offering services and products to help you along the path to economic opportunity. From credit counseling and financial coaching to flexible accounts and loan options, start your wealth-building journey by visiting banksouthern.com or stop by our branch today to learn more. Southern Bank Corp., a bank on a mission to be wealth builders for everyone. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. If you're hearing this, you're behind the wheel, make it give me something new. Teeter motors and make a deal in the take a trade in too. Fall is here and that means it's four-wheel drive season. Hi, I'm Shannon with Teeter Motor Company. If there's one thing you should know, it's that we have the largest selection of Tacoma forerunners and Jeeps in the state. The holidays are coming, so let us make your first payment on any vehicle purchase in November, December. So come see us and test drive one of our quality pre-owned vehicles today. Teeter Motor Company, 1201 Highway 71 South, Mina. Anytime you hear country favorites, you know you're tuned to number one country, 92.1. From dawn to dusk in the red dirt heat Busting it up for a couple of bucks But it ain't no thing Just another day till I'm on my way to them cool, cool sheets And you and me working on the night shift, baby I do too, yeah, I love how you leave on the lights Not a thing between you and me and it feels 
TikTok if you want to meet his party animals, not people, actual animals. I'm talking about his his cows, his goats, Johnny and June, Garth and Trisha. Yeah, you can see them all. Uh, make sure you're following John Party on TikTok. We are your number one country, 92.1. If you're looking for some peace and quiet, Look no further than Thick Pins Hideaway, where you can get away from it all. Thick Pins Hideaway has beautiful cabins sitting right on the Cossatot River. The cabins are fully equipped with everything you need. Whether you're wanting to stay a week or a couple days, Thick Pins has you covered. Thick Pins Hideaway also has full RV hookups. Thick Pin Hideaway is located approximately one mile from Pond Creek Wildlife Refuge. For more information about Thick Pins Hideaway, you can find them on the web or on Facebook. That's Thick Pin Hideaway, where you can get away from it all. Did you know the overall suicide rate has increased 35% since 1999? Too often, feelings of shame and stigma stop people from discussing suicide and its effects. Suicidal thoughts are a symptom. Senior Behavioral Health and Cedar Haven would like to bring awareness that just like any other symptom, they can be treated and they can improve over time. In these challenging times, hope and healing are needed more than ever. At MENA Regional Health System, it's patients first, always. Let the holiday celebration begin at Bogey's Wine, Liquor and Beer at 125 Webster in Ashdown. No need to go anywhere else. We have everything you need for your gatherings this holiday season. We have a full line of beer, liquor and wine at unbeatable prices. Need a gift for the holiday season? Let your friendly and knowledgeable staff help you find what you're looking for. Come in or drive through our convenient drive through Bogey Swine, Liquor and Beer want to wish you all a happy and safe holiday season. Miller Buoy Supply at 103 South Madden Street in Foreman is your premium livestock feed headquarters with products for show animals, animal health, farm and home chemicals, farm supply merchandise, hardware, fertilizers, lawn and garden, and more. Stock up now on buck forage oats, rice bran, deer corn, fall wildlife mix, and trophy rocks as well as deer feeders. Miller Buoy Supply has everything you need to drop that big buck this hunting season. Open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and 8 a.m. to noon on Saturdays. That's Miller Buoy Supply in Foreman. At Oscar Hamilton Elementary, it is our mission to ensure that all students learn and achieve their highest potential of academic success through partnership of students, teachers, parents, and community. We believe all children should have the opportunity to learn in a nurturing, safe environment that supports respect for all and encourages responsibility and good citizenship. We believe in high expectations and excellence for learning in our students and teachers. Happy holidays from Foreman Schools. Hey guys, Michael Hardage here from Gregor Extreme Chevrolet in Ashdown, Arkansas. Just want to let you guys know about a sweet little promotion we got going on in the service department right now. If you're an existing customer and send us a new customer that's never been here before, we're going to give them $15 off their service, and in turn you'll receive $15 off your next service. 
So call your family and friends up. Send them down here to Gregor Extreme Chevrolet in Ashdown. And let's get you both a little discount on your next services. Safe, effective, and free COVID-19 vaccines are now readily available for all Arkansans ages six months and up. Booster shots are also available for people five and above. The vaccines are highly effective at preventing severe COVID. That means helping keep you from being hospitalized or even dying. Get vaccinated to protect yourself, your family, and your community. Learn more and find your nearest vaccine location at healthy.arkansas.gov. This message brought to you by the Arkansas Department of Health. Like you always said we would and Packed your bags in that old forerunner That I bought you when things were good I'm glad to see the stop sign didn't hit you Bring you back to your senses Oh, it waved you gone goodbye Yeah, it waved you gone goodbye I heard you found yourself a brand new Put a rock on your finger and he vowed you a second chance he Built a house right by the coast That ocean view is beautiful, but baby, I just want you to know He don't know you like I did The money talks, but I ain't buying Cause there's a smoke ring wrapped around your finger One second, it's a blessing and the next Blessing and the next from well, the biggest name in country music right now, Morgan Wallen. Yeah, Morgan says, this is a kid, I think, that just the way he's rising, the way he's blowing up, and he's someone that will probably need that. He said, I told him that I'd be that for him if he wants it. It's cool to just see a little small-town kid, kind of like me, come up and start making some noise all over the country. So there you go. Of course, Bailey got started on TikTok and is working his way on up the country charts, so he's doing real well. You're number one country. 
Here are helpful tips for holiday shopping to help beat the crowds and get the best deals. Start early and make it one-stop shopping at JCPenney. Check off everything on your holiday wish list, all while racking up the savings at JCPenney. Kids' toys, festive apparel, appliances, and home theater items. It's all here at JCPenney. Just another way to gift for all, all for less. This shopping message is sponsored by JCPenney. JCPenney promises to help you unlock the holiday season with more gifts for less. And Doug. Hey, listener. Welcome to Lemu's Karaoke Lounge, where Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need, and the music never stops. Hit it. There's an emu with a full-time job. His partner's Doug, but Lemu's the heartthrob. Grubs and worms, that's what Lemu eats. Gotta fuel up to save you money and hit the streets. Only pay for what you need at LibertyMutual.com. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Every time we talk, you move in close. I don't want you to stop. I don't want you to stop tonight. We got the last two glasses on a straw hut bar. Trying to remember what number we are. String of white lights making your eyes shine tonight. We're buzzing like that no vacancy sign out front Your skin is begging to be kissed by a little more than the sun You take my hand in yours, you lean in And your lips taste like sangria Your lips taste like sangria Game one at Hayworth, it was, uh, quite honestly, it was more of a scrimmage. Uh, yeah. and uh, I would say that's an overstudy for the scrimmage. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I told y'all I was a homer when we started. Go ahead. Well, you're exactly right. The Lady Leopards got a nearly 40-point win at Hayworth, jumped out to a 31 to nothing please, and uh, really never looked back. Everybody got a lot of playing time, yeah. and the starters basically played two quarters. Yeah, I just coasted from the, that 31 to nothing uh, first quarter lead. Right. So, uh, uh, no significant injuries for the Lady Leopards tonight. We're going to take our first three-minute timeout, come back, and we'll bring you the keys to victory, the starting lineup, and the opening tip. You're listening to the Lady Leopards on 92.1 KDQN. Pilgrim's Pride to Queen Processing Plant has immediate openings for maintenance, both shifts, production workers, all shifts, part-time and temporary employment positions available. Between now and December 23rd, all new hires will receive a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Applications are available online at jobvite.com or at Pilgrim's Employment Office at 401 South 3rd Street in DeQueen. Open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Pilgrim's is an affirmative action equal opportunity employer. Minorities and veterans are encouraged to apply. Every day. Chris Craig opens Pruitt's Food Bakery in DeQueen. Before most of our customers open their eyes, heating ovens, mixing the batter, making sure every cake, pastry, and loaf of bread is delightfully fresh and tasty. It's what customers have come to expect from Pruitt's Bakery. Friendly, hometown service from people like Chris Craig, creating more than made-to-order cakes, creating made-to-order memories. Pruitt's Food, with locations at 500 East Colorado Drive in DeQueen and 201 South Park Drive in Broken Bow. 
Gentry Chevrolet hopes you and your family make some great holiday memories this year. The kind of holiday season you cherish for years to come. And if there's anything Gentry Chevrolet can do to help you make your holiday memorable, please let them know. Whether it's ordering the vehicle of your dreams or maybe someone needs a great pre-owned vehicle from their outstanding inventory. Or let their award-winning service department make sure your vehicle is safe and ready for that trip to Grandma's house. Happy Holidays from Gentry Chevrolet and the Queen. Check them out on the web at GentryChevyInc.com. Are you ready for fiber to the home internet service? Four States Fiber is in the process of building a network to reach every Southwest Arkansas Electric Cooperative member. Bringing one gig fiber internet service to homes and businesses with unlimited data, free installation, and no contracts. From high school sports to the hogs to the pros, stay in the action as you stream your team to victory. Visit fourstatesfiber.com and click on check availability for more information. Four States Fiber, internet service you can be happy about about. Some of my fondest childhood memories are from volunteering with my grandmother. Helping others was her passion. She'd always say, the sweetest fruits of life come from serving others. And she was right. At Shelter Insurance, we strive to make a positive impact in the communities where we work and live. Shelter Insurance agent Jeff Woods with the Woods Agency is a proud sponsor of this Leopard Sports Broadcast. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Or as we like to call it, the can't have just one deal. Mix and match a flaky sausage biscuit, savory sausage McMuffin, sausage McGriddles, or crispy hash browns. Want two sausage biscuits? Buy one, get one for a dollar. Want a sausage biscuit and hash browns? That's cool too. Choose more of what you love. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Prices and participation may vary. Valid for item of equal or lesser value. Cannot be combined with combo meal. We're proud to announce Howard Memorial Hospital now offers. I think, yeah, and I think one of the things, the, the keys to victory for the Lady Leopards tonight, uh, Tony, is going to be fundamental basketball. We're going to play against a team that's probably played five or six games. Yeah. Uh, three and four. Okay, so they will play seven games. And I, I think those, those seven games have given them time to get basketball ready. We played one game that, like you said, was more like a scrimmage, a, uh, the kids didn't play the whole game. I think they're going to have to be ready to to pass, dribble, shoot, and rebound and defend like, like you're supposed to. I I, I agree. And uh, you know, the, the at Hayworth, I mean, it, we it was total domination. So I expect a, a lot stiffer test tonight out of the Lady Eagles. Yeah, I, yeah, it's much stiffer now. One thing that is happened, you know, we talked about the injury report for the Lady Leopards earlier, but the uh, Lady Eagles do have an, an injured player. Uh, I think it's number 33, Hannah McClain. So I think she broke her wrist. Memory serves me right. Uh, she hurt us a little bit last year. Yeah. Well, she's a 5 10 forward, uh, and she's a junior. Yeah, she broke her wrist. She's sitting over there by the coach right now. Yeah, yeah she looks like she had her wrist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and she and she did some damage on us last year. So I, so that you know that is that is something that's going to change for the Lady Eagles. It's going to make it a little more difficult for them. I'm sure they'll try to press and see how how we handle their pressure, and we'll just go from there. Uh, look, yeah, are you about ready for the starting lineup? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, the nice Lady Leopard starting lineup sponsored by Don's Easy Play, family owned and operated for over 30 years. Carrying brand name appliances, electronics, TVs, computers, and home furnaces. For the Lady Leopards, starting tonight will be number one, Laura Morphew. She's a senior. Number two, Allison Dawkins, also a senior. And number 15, Val Lindsay, also a senior. Also starting, Laura May Hart, number 14, a junior. And Dayton Newberry, number 11, a junior. Same lineup they had last time. Okay, we're getting ready to go to the National Anthem. We'll come back and give you the Lady Eagles starting lineup on the other side of this 90-second timeout. Over the past century, Diamond Bank has worked hard to provide our customers with the best in financial services. We're proud to call DeQueen home and enjoy serving the community any way we can. When it comes to financing, let our experienced loan officers help you purchase, refinance, or remodel your home, fix up your rental property, expand, or begin a new business. Whatever the need, our financial team will be there for you. Diamond Bank, Colin Ray Drive in DeQueen. Online at diamondbank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. 
At the D-Queen Church of Christ, we have made youth and families our number one priority. Justin and Sarah Stewart serve as our children's ministers, and Michael and Caitlin Collins lead our teens. In addition to Bible study, our young people go on many trips, including fun activities, retreats, camps, and youth rallies. If you want to get your young person involved in a vibrant youth group that will bring them closer to Jesus, we would love to see you this Sunday at 10.15 a.m. Or check out our website at dqcoc.com. Folks at Ricky's Body Shop bring you a special greeting at Thanksgiving time to express to you their sincere appreciation for your confidence and loyalty. They extend to you their best wishes for a happy and healthy Thanksgiving day. Let Ricky's over 30 years of experience work for you. Take your vehicle to Ricky's and get an estimate for your job. You have a choice when it comes to repairing your vehicle, regardless of where an insurance company recommends. Happy Thanksgiving from Ricky's Body Shop, 202 Lakeside Drive into Queen, 642-2811. National Anthem here at the Coliseum, getting ready to bring you option between the Queen Lady Leopards and the Cause of Tot River Lady Eagles. And uh, like I say, we're talking about, Greg, uh, since the uh, Cause of Tot has been in existence, this series is dead even. These two teams usually play each other really, really tough. Yeah, this is going to be a good ball game, Tony. Uh, Cause of Tot's got a good thing. So Greg is going to get the, he's going to get the cause of time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, starting for the cause of by the Eagles, number one, Madeline Dixon. Number 10, Haley Williams. Number 22, Lacey Dixon, a sophomore starting for the Lady Eagles. Jesse Carterby. Jesse Carterby, a junior. And another junior, Landry Richardson. So a couple of seniors, a couple of juniors, and a sophomore for the Lady Eagles. Yeah, number 55 is a good 5'11". I'll tell you what, if she is 5'11", then I'm like 5'8". They got 44 and 55 at 5'11". And Jordan Farr's food is three inches stronger than five. All right, I want to remind you, if you're looking for that, you're going to find that a little later on on 102.1 with Jim Clark and Jim Coker calling uh, the option for the Panthers and the wish the Panthers good luck in their playoff game today. Lady Leopards being introduced. Lady Leopards wearing the all-white uniforms with black. Lettering and numerals, a little bit of gold trim on those uniforms, Greg, but not much. Most are black and white. I like the black and white, but it's a clean look. Yeah, they got a little gold around the numerals, but not much. So much you can't see, but it's a real clean look. Number's easy to read, so that's what we like. That's the most important is the numbers are easy to read. And they are tonight as the Lady Eagles come out in all black with white trim and black letters. And I, I don't even see. Do you see any trim around their numbers? I don't see. No, them. I don't see any trim around their numbers. Oh, I guess it's wide around, black and white. Very good, very good. Tonight's opening tip is sponsored by the Sevier County Farmers Cooperative. Check them out at the new location, 801 West Collin Ray Drive. Your Karina Foodies needs dealer in the Queen. And Coach Spears giving last minute instructions to the Lady Leopards. And they have take the floor. It looks like it's going to be, it's been Bell. It's Bell over at Hayworth, and it's going to be Bell again in the circle for the Queen. It's going to be number 44, uh, Chelsea Carterby for Kazatai. She looks like she's got Bell by an inch or two, Greg. Yeah, you got her by a couple of inches. Bell's probably 5'8", so. And the Leopards control the tip. That is Laura May Hart gets it in the corner to Dawkins. Dawkins for three, no good. Rebound by number 10 for Kazata. That's Williams. She gets the ball to Dixon. Dixon penetrates and dumps it off in the corner to Richardson. Richardson goes up. This is the shot, though. It's rebounded there by Carter B, and now we're going to have a jump ball situation, and this one will belong to the Eagles. Yeah, Laura Morphy down on the floor to get that jump ball. Good job by her. We're, we started out in a man-to-man defense. All right. Eagles under their own basket. Boy, nice inbound pass there, and they get the quick two points. Chelsea Carter Bullard. 
and they lead two to nothing at the 7:30 mark of the first period, and a little bit of pressure, a little half court pressure. Looks like a one three one. one. Yeah. 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 Got to know how to play with that. Got to play it. Got to play it. That's the call ding ding. Really nice oh, penetration by Bell Lindsay. Two apiece now, 7 12 first period. Cosatan quickly up the floor with the basketball. That's Dixon. A little pressure from us, too. Yeah, a little bit. Now they're passing the ball around the perimeter back around to Madeline Dixon. Into the corner for Richardson. To Lacey Dixon. Two Dixons on the floor now for Cosatot. And there's a walk. It's either a walk or a push off. It's going to call it a walk. Yeah, it's a walk. Landry Richardson called for the walk. Lucky for us. We can't let she she's a good basketball player. Yeah. And she would have had uh, she would have had an open shot at the yeah. basket. Just kind of lost her footage. Yeah. One three one here again. Dawkins tomorrow. You gotta look across for it to pay let them turn. in the block each side. <laughs> and if they can double team you there, they're going to do it. Well, let's get the ball in the bed. Oh, well, got she fouled. He got fouled. Looks like this might go on 22 Lacey Dixon. Let's see. It is 22 Lacey Dixon. It's going to be her first, two first, and Bell Lindsay will go to the line and shoot two shots. Bell, trying to remember how many points she had at Hey, Greg. 20, 20 in, in basically two quarters, 17 in the first half. Yeah. It's the first one, 3 2 Lady Leopard, 61 first period. Second one is no good. That one's rebounded by Richardson. Biggest, big, I'm sorry. It's okay. okay. Biggest Achilles heel the Lady Leopards had the other night was three first. Yeah. We inside misses. Rebound by Dayton Newberry. She gets the ball a little more for you, and here come the Lady Leopards quickly before they can set up the defense. Gets it out to Dawkins on the wing. Now back to Newberry at the top of the key. She drives down inside to Harp on the outside. Harp gets the ball to Allison Dawkins. Dawkins for three. They go. Rebound by Haley Williams. And Eagles with the basketball down one. Three, two. Back the other way. Here's Richardson with a long three. No good. Rebound there by Harp. And Murphy with her head up gets the ball head to Dawkins. Lady Leopards come out red hot at Hayworth, uh, hitting from everywhere. 31s. Here's Laurel from way outside. Won't go. And <laughs> Landry Richardson is just, yeah, Laura May just wasn't big enough to get that ball. He was inside of her. Yeah, it doesn't matter. matter. No. Nope. <laughs> Richardson down inside to Dixon. Dixon back to Williams and now get to Madeline Dixon. Quick pass inside to Carterby. Carterby misses the shot. Dave Newberry comes away with the rebound. They get it up ahead to Bell. Bell's one on three now, two on three, but gets the ball inside to Laura May. Laura May misses the shot. Madeline Dixon with the rebound coming the other way. Both these teams trying to speed up the pace a little bit. Here's Richardson for three. Won't go. And now we got two Leopards fighting over the ball. Yeah, Bell comes out of there with it. Goes inside, and she's going to be fouled, and I think she's going to get to go back to the line, Greg. Uh... Goes up 44. That's Chelsea Carterby. And now they're going to call it on the floor. Yeah, so, it was a second. We didn't say that. Do I have to uh, <laughs> Second. I wasn't team sure. foul on the Eagles. First team foul on Carterby. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, boy, the Leopards just could not control the inbound pass. And going to be Eagle basketball. 446 first period. Teams kind of filling each other out right now. Four. It's 3-2. Lady Leopards. No, but we've got a full court press by the Leopards. Yeah. Ball thrown away in the backcourt, and we're going to have a timeout called by the Lady Eagles. 435, first period, the Queen three, cause a River two, and we are back in 30 seconds. Wilkerson Funeral Home, proud to be a sponsor of this Leopard Sports Broadcast. Just like the Leopards, Wilkerson Funeral Home has always been a proud, strong part of our community. For years, the Wilkerson family has been serving families in southwest Arkansas. They understand that each family member and every life remembered are uniquely different from any other. Putting families first and ensuring that each life is properly honored is their promise to you. Wilkerson Funeral Home, dependable professional service since 1929. Supporting the Leopards, it's Wilkerson Funeral Home. 
Lady Leopards brought to you tonight by Gentry Chevrolet, online at GentryChevyInc.com. Nobody beats a Gentry deal by Warehouser. We don't just grow trees. By the Woods Agency Shelter Insurance. Are you covered? Check with Jeff Woods. And by the Queen Abstract Company. We worry about the details of real estate transactions so you don't have to. All right, up against a 10-second call. The cause of tight eagles got a timeout. Leopards are still going to continue to press, though. It's a 2 2 1 press. And they break this one easily. Madeline Dixon sees that part of it down inside. Chelsea Kirby has four points, all four of the Eagles points, and they lead 4 3. North View with the basketball. Dribbles left, gets it to Dawkins. Dawkins tried to get inside for Laura May Hart. She does, but it was the pass letter under the basket, and then the ball's thrown away. So 4 12, first period, 4 3, cause a tie. That's what you do against that one three one. You've got to pass cross court, Tony. Yeah, uh, but you've got to make passes and you got to you got to be quick about it. Lady Leopard's pressing again and again. The Eagles break it nicely, almost a steal there by Laura May Hart. Ball knocked to another Eagle. Dixon with the basketball passes left to Williams. Now back around to Lacey Dixon. Dixon's going to take a three. It looked like maybe that. Uh, Newberry, excuse me, Bill Lindsay got a piece of that ball. Rebounded by Cossatot. Now back outside. Here's another three pointer. That one's no good, and Bell's going to get the rebound. Matt Bell Nixon on the miss, and then a cross oh. baseball, excuse me, football pass down to uh, down to uh, Laura May and just hit let her under the basket. Now the Leopard pick up a foul on the offensive rebound. It's going to be on Dayton. Yeah, going to be on Dayton Newberry, her first team first. That 2 2 1 for us. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ozatop breaks it oh. on the other end. And then Richardson's going to be called for her second walk of the first, first period. That's about the only thing she's done wrong. <laughs> yeah. Dawkins with the basketball pass off the Morphew to the left. Eagles have their defense extended. They they know these the Queen Lady Leopards pretty well, knowing they like to live on the outside. For Tazatot's going to be on Allen Dixon, her first team third. Ball's going to be taken out by the Leopards in front of the Tazatot bench. Jim's Garcia comes in for Allison Dawkins. Pass into Laurel to Mims. Back to Laurel. Laurel for three. Well, no good. Dayton with the rebound. And then ball on the floor, Dayton comes out with it. And we're going to have a jump ball situation. And we're going to go, I, I believe it goes with us, but I'm not, not going to go right there. We got the last one. 4 3 Eagles, 2 56 first period. You got, you got to be careful dribbling in the, in the lane to get sealed. Boy, the Eagles break the press, and now they got a one on three on the other end. They. Harder he misses a shot at point blank range. Laura Morphew gets the rebound. She drops the middle and then gives the ball up to Dayton. Dayton back to Bell. Bell stops at the foul line, takes the shot. She's fouled. No call. Mims Garcia gets the rebound, passes it back out to Morphew. Back to Morphew and Mims. Now Bell in the corner. Bell trapped in the corner. That's not where you want to get the ball in this uh Defense, Greg. Nope. You got to move it if you're going to do that. Yeah. Now on the other side, and they're going to have that shot clock violation. Our first ever <laughs> shot clock violation. That's right. What occurred right. with two minutes and eleven seconds in the first quarter. That's right. So our leopard historian Jay Bunyard can write that down in yeah. his notebook. <laughs> Kazata River breaks the press easily again. This is Madeline Dixon and. Kaylee Williams still by Laura Morphew, though. She busts, busts out. It's going to be a foul. They're going to call it on the floor, I think. So Laura's not going to get foul shots here. Going to be on number 10. That's Kaylee Williams. That's her first, team four. So all four calls of the top river fouls are they're evenly distributed. Four girls have one each. Bell Lindsay with the basketball over in the corner to Harp. Harp. To Morphew and boy, just almost stepping in front of it is Madeline Dixon, and uh, going to stay with the Leopards. Fortunately, 
I'm telling you, Tony, you got to throw it cross court. Yeah, you can't, you can't run it around like that. No. You can't play around the three point line. So, guess that. Bell to Laurel. Laurel back to Bell. Bell penetrates this inside the foul line looking for Newberry. Good, to, good defense by Cossetot. Knocks the ball away. Madeline Dixon coming the other way. And she pulls it back out. And uh, to Kaylee Williams now back to Dixon. And they're going to set up their offense. 4 or 3. Now they're looking inside. Oh, oh and they're going to go. And I believe it's going to count. That's Landry Richardson yeah. with the basket. And I think she's going to get a three point play opportunity. Foul's going to be on Dayton New. That's her second foul. Looks like checking in for the Leopards is Penelope Sims. So Landry Richardson will get a shot to get a three point play the old fashioned one. Good, good chance to build our bench here a little bit, Holly. Yep, and she makes it. The Lady Eagles lead the Lady Leopards 7 3, 113. Lady Leopards are being told here to start this ball game. Bell goes all the way and she's fouled. Yeah, good shoot, too. Yeah, she's going to get the shoot, too. It's going to go on Madeline Dixon, their point guard. That's her second. Team five. Number 15. Yep. Ella, Ella, English. 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 Yep. I'm going to check in for. Uh... We apologize. <laughs> Bell makes the first one seven four. Ella, you're in. <laughs> it's fourth known as Ella. Ella. <laughs> Number fifteen, Ella. <laughs> you can't say your last name. I'm sorry. Bell makes both of them. She's three four nights in the line. Seven five. Cause it's hot. Rolling in on a minute left in the first period. Cause it's hot. Williams drives the middle, shoots no good. The boy Johnny on the spot on the rebound is. Carter B, and she is fouled. He gets on bail. Yeah. Maybe. Well, a heart. And so, shooting two is Chelsea Carter B. She already has four points on the night. Yeah, we got to do a better job blocking them off. Yeah. The, the two big girls, 5'11 and 5'11, have uh, six, uh, have four and three points. They have all seven. This is the first foul shot, second one upcoming. And now it's over. And Bell gets the rebound. Leopard's coming back the other way, looking to tie or go ahead. Morphy with the basketball. Off to Bell. Bell tries right. Blocked off there. Gets it to Garcia. Garcia gets it back out to Lou. Lou shoots. Boom! Bell Morphy for three. And that gives the Leopards the lead at 8-7. to seven. 30 seconds left. In the first period. Maybe that will open the bucket up a little bit. That'd be great. That's the first score by anybody other than Bell tonight. We gets the ball inside, and that's number 44. It's hard to be. She has six points in the first period. Eagles take the lead back at 9, 8, 15 seconds left in the first period. Bell for three. That one's off. And England. Gets the rebound for Kazatot. Stop in the quarter. Does over the basket. No good. So at the end of the first quarter, it's the Kazatot River. Lady Eagles 9, the, the Queen Lady Leopards 8. We're back in 60 seconds. Audible National Bank is wishing you a picture-perfect table this Thanksgiving. And may everyone be in a very positive mood. Audible National Bank wishes you a happy and festive Thanksgiving with your loved ones. May you always have a joyous day, be it a holiday or year-round. And may the Lord hear your blessings and bless you with eternal joy. Happy Thanksgiving from Idabel National Bank. The Queen Auto Group wants your vehicle. Whether you're ready for trade-in or just need cash for your vehicle, call today. All makes and models accepted. Check out our selection of certified pre-owned vehicles. We offer ASC protection plans for all used vehicles. ASC warranty provides several options to fit any budget. Contact Mac Moore, our finance manager, for more details. Visit our websites at dequeenford.net or dequeenchrysler.jeep.com. Dequeen Auto Group is your hometown, full-service Ford, Ram, Jeep, and Dodge dealership. The second quarter is sponsored by Southwest Feeds to Deer County. For over a decade, with a wide variety of feed, horse tack, and cattle supplies, Southwest Feed. Lady Leopards find themselves down, Mr. Rebels, one 
at the uh, at the end of the first period. They did, didn't shoot the ball particularly well. Maybe a little better toward the end of the quarter. Well, I'm going to tell you, Tony. I, 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 you know, they're going to continue to play that one three one until we start breaking it. And we're the, the way we're taking the ball is not going to. It's not how you do it. All right, boy. Pass nearly stolen. They get the ball to Bell in the corner now to Allison. Inside to Dayton. Dayton takes the shot. No good. Allison fights for the rebound and is pushed and old. I mean, she's holding the yeah, her, she's, a hill. That's not good. Now we're going to have an injury timeout. She's in pain. Yes, she is. Coach Spears looks like she's in pain. Coach Spears, if you don't know, she is. She's not only expecting; she's expecting soon. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm, I know that that doesn't always work according to plan. I think her plan is to have that baby tonight, sometime, <laughs> so so she can she can have that next week that's off and and, and have as much time. Before she it can, well, it wouldn't shock me if I got a, call, a text in the morning saying that she had that baby. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you that. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> yeah, Laurel's coming back in for Alice. Alice, okay. Alice is okay. Yeah, over at the bench, she's yeah. very, very gingerly put yeah. up. Just a little bit of pressure on it. It's going to be Eagle basketball. They they lead nine eight. The thing that bothers me about where she was holding her, she was holding her ankle by her of her. Heal about her ankle. Right, right. Worry about that Achilles. Yeah. He was with the basketball. Yes, yes, sir. She sure did. <laughs> hey, you got one right. <laughs> Landry Richardson come with the double dribble. Now it's going to be Leopard basketball. Dixon gets ready to check back in for the Eagles. Mims gets the ball in the corner to Bell. Bell back around to Moore. Boy, back to Mims. Mims is going to penetrate, and they're going to call it for a walk. Mm. Mm. You're a local walk expert, Greg. What do you think of it? I couldn't see it. Uh, somebody was in front of me. Could I? Hard to tell from right there. Okay, 7 8 till halftime in a low-scoring game as the Eagles lead 9-8 to over the Leopards. Dixon with the basketball. She moves right close to the Garcia. Now Newberry picks her up to get the back out to the top of the key to Williams. Williams penetrates, goes in, lay up, let go. And uh, by Sims, Belsley Sims with a rebound and with some authority. Yep. Here's Lou for three. Boom! Well, thank you. Now has six points, and the Leopards lead 11-9. Dixon back down with the basketball. Works the ball right. Leopard's playing good defense and get the ball out to Richardson and then uh, Ella back around on the other side. Dixon to Williams. Williams over in the corner with the basketball. Gets the ball inside the corner. It'll be a great defensive play there by Sims. Good job. Yeah. yeah, knocking the ball out of bounds and it's going to be equal basketball in their own basket. They only have 12 to shoot, Greg. Looking to get somebody, and they're going to get a five-second call. Excellent defense by the late efforts, and a five-second call against the Eagles, and it's going to be the Queen basketball with a two-point lead. Good defensive job by all the Lady Leopards that time, just not giving them anywhere to throw the ball from underneath the basket. Yep. Trying to get the ball into the they knocked out of bounds by Carter B. It's going to be Lady Leopard basketball underneath their own hoop, 6-0-2 to halftime. Uh, you know, into the open. Boy, I thought he was going to take that extra step there. Here's Lou for three. Miss. Good uh, uh, Bell put back. Let go. Dog gone it. Landry Richardson with the rebound. She gets the ball to Madeline Dixon. Here come the Eagles going the other way. Williams inside to Carter. Be back around to Dixon to Richardson for three. And she drains it. Six points for Landry Richardson. Her and Boy Morphew. Lead the both ball game with six points. Both teams have two score people that scored. Tony Moore moves the ball back to the left. Gets the ball inside to Sims. Sims kicks it back out to Newberry. Back to Bell. Bell penetrates just yep. outside the blocks and then go. Richardson with the rebound. And here come the Eagles the other way. Dixon 
Getting ready to check in as part for the Leopards. I wonder if Bell's there under the weather or not, Tony. Well, shot's a little off. Well, she just seems to not be her normal self out there. Ball gets knocked out of bounds by the Queen after the missed shot. Looks like uh, Harp is going to replace Bell. You may be right about that. Yeah, I think Coach Spears saw the same thing I saw. She just caused a tie, takes the ball under their own hoop, and ball goes off of Bell's hand. Oh, boy, that that, that R is easy. Garcia tried to make a play. You can't blame her for that. No. And then got a foot on the line, and it's going to be Eagle basketball. Yeah, Ella's coming out, number 22. Lacey Dixon back in for the Eagles. All right, Madeline Dixon, the point guard, to Williams. Williams to Richardson, back to Dixon. Dixon, Leopard defense, doing a good job. 20 to shoot. Dixon to Williams. and Right now, just a game of catch. Now they work the ball inside. And Penelope got a foul. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> a good aggressive foul by Penelope Sims. It's going to be her first. It's going to be team four on the Leopards. 4.32 to halftime. 12-11 Eagles. Oh, boy, a nice backdoor play. They get the ball down to Landry Richardson. She has eight points, 14-11, to 11, Greg. And you don't get much more up in the net. No. Garcia from Northview. Morphew to Harp. Not to Morphew. Burroughs made a couple of threes, and now they're coming out and getting her there. It's in the no man's land, and now we got a steal by the Eagles. Looks like that's Williams being pursued by Sims, and Sims did all she could. She prevented the uh, – she's going to make uh, uh, Williams go to the line and, and, and earn them, but it's going to be the second foul on Penelope. Team five. Kaylee Williams will go to the line and shoot two. Bell's getting ready to check back in for the Leopards. A lot of food going around, Tony. Yes, sir. I got my flu shot, but I have a feeling that it'll make me in the game. Yeah, it helps. I forgot to get mine, and I had it. And I, I'm going to go get one my day. <laughs> Just in I understand. That was missed some dogs. Now we're going to have a foul, I believe, coming up on Causaton on the offensive rebound. That's going to be on Landry Richardson, number 55, her first, team six. So we're halfway through the second quarter. Not a lot of scoring as Causaton leads 14 to 11. Neither team been able to get on track. Allison Dawkins left the game about two minutes ago with an injury. That's definitely hurt the Leopards' ability to, to put points on the board. Garcia to... Lou, Lou for three, no good, and fighting for the rebound. Ball still loose, and Kazakov's going to come out with it, flip the backboard with it, and Hart gets out of there with it, and she's going to be fouled. Number 55. Yeah, hustle by Laura May Hart. Good job by Laura May. And that's two on Landry Richardson, and that, that could be key as this game goes on, Greg. Yeah. Big, big foul. Oh, here's, a, here's some good uh, news good. right here. Allison getting ready to check back into the ball game. Harp, two shots. This is the first one to the left. Leopards three of five from the foul line tonight. Second shot by Laura May. That one's no good, too. They both missed left. Dayton about got that rebound. Come away with by Richardson. They go down the other way. To Dixon. No, Williams. Go by that fast. <laughs> Williams, or excuse me, uh, Williams misses a three. Rebound by Bell Lindsay. That's five for her already, Tony. Bell yes. to Laurel, back around to Allison. And now they're going to work the ball back out toward the leopard. Right to Laurel, to Allison. Allison for three. No good. Rebound, though, by Bell. Bell with the put back in the score. Bell Lindsay now with seven points. 14-13 Eagles. Three minutes to go to halftime. 22 Dixon back out to the Madeline Dixon. They're working the ball around the perimeter to Williams. Now back to Dixon. Carter B. Williams, oh boy, a good look inside from Carter Beater. 
for Richardson. Richardson has 10 points, 16 13. And Greg, they're just paying that to. Yeah, you got to pay attention to her inside. Okay. You. And I'm sure that's what Coach Spears is fixing to draw up for. Leopards call timeout. It's a 30 second timeout. The Queen trails by 3 16 13 back in 30 seconds. Harris Drug and Gifts in downtown De Queen is your fragrance headquarters this holiday season. For the ladies, Pink Sugar, Euphoria, Light Blue, Cool Water, Versace, and much more. And for the men, you go Boss, Obsession, Paul Sebastian, Polo, Double Black, Dracar Noor, and many other favorites. Harris Drug has a good selection of infant clothes and accessories for boys and girls, too. And don't forget the popular Razorback Corner. Happy Holidays from Harris Drug, downtown De Queen. Bailey Discount Building Supply, everything for the home builder and do-it-yourselfer. McDonald's, I'm loving it. I have to present the leverage player of the game. The Queen Church of Christ, love, serve, grow. Parish Drug and Gifts, serving the Queen since 1964. And Pilgrims of the Queen, a good employer and a top-notch corporate citizen. All proud sponsors of Lady Leopards. Lady Leopards had the ball following the timeout. More few and Dawkins. Work you for three. Good. Lord, work you is red hot. 16 apiece. She has nine. Leads the Lady Leopards in scoring. Dixon and Williams. Now they get the ball inside to Carterby. And, and boy, they're just, Greg, it's just a little uh, a little bit of odd, man. You got, you got two people trying to guard three. They get it to the open one, and they look inside. Dawkins with the rebound on the missed shot by Dixon all the way down real quickly is Laura May Hart. Up, won't go. Rebound by Newberry. That one goes. Hey, Newberry. Her first two of the ball game, and the Leopards have their first lead in a while at 18-16. Dixon. Down inside to Richardson. Richardson almost threw it over Dixon's head. Matter of fact, she did, and Dixon got up and got the, got the ball. Here's a long three. That one's no good. And uh, the, excuse me, rebound by Laura May. Yeah. <laughs> it was it either a rebounded or hit you in the face. Here's Dawkins the other way. Oh, misses the left handed layup. Excellent pass there. I think she thought she was going to get the foul. Too. I think you're right. I think the referee thought that too, so he was going. <laughs> Moving on uh, almost a minute left the first half. After it's by two, 18 16. Dixon, boy, there's a pass to Richardson, and she's wide open. Well, points for her. Maybe, maybe a box and one or something. I don't know. Well, they're, they're setting screens. You got to, you got to get out, out around those screens. Twenty-four to shoot. Bell gets mugged, <laughs> and I think they're going to go get a foul on Kazatot here. That's three on number That's fifty-five. Landry Richardson. That is her third. Nice. Bell will go to the line and shoot one and one. Bell. Three for four from the line distance. Yeah. In and out. Richardson with the rebound. Dixon brings the ball up. They're not going to shoot. The Williams got it. They're going to play for one shot, I believe. And uh, shot clock's at 23. Game clock, about two seconds difference in the shot clock and the game clock. Richardson and Dixon and Williams right now just, just playing a little game of cat and mouse. And now they're going to go seven seconds, six. Richardson makes her move, almost has the ball taken away, gets it to Carterby, ball in and out, and there's a – and we're going to see what the call is here because the shot clock went off. Shot clock went off, but you got to reset it when it hit the rim. They're going to talk about this. Be interesting to see. It looked like to me, Greg, the shot you can. Well, yeah, because the first one hit the rim, and when that happens, the shot clock resets. Right. And it didn't reset. Well, but there was, I mean, there was virtually hardly any time to reset it, but. Right. Yeah. But it, but it, yeah, it re- it's yeah. Gonna reset. Yeah, they're going to give the Eagles the basket. That's what, and that will be 55, Landry Richardson, am I correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it was number 44. Oh, Carter. So, 1.5 seconds left for the Leopards to try to get something here before halftime, and they're down 20 to 18. 
They get the ball to Allison at half court. They're going to get a better shot than I thought they would. And over the All right, we're at the half because the top River Lady Eagles lead out to Queen Lady Leopards 20 to 18. Give us three minutes to tabulate the stats, and we'll be back. You're listening to the Lady Leopards on KDQ and the Leopard Network. We're proud to announce Howard Memorial Hospital now offers telehealth services so you can stay healthy while staying home. Easily access our telehealth portal from your smartphone, tablet, or computer to connect with your trusted providers. All you need is a valid email address to sign up. Telehealth visits are available for most clinic appointments, Compass Behavioral Health Services, and some emergency consults. Your health is our priority. Let us take care of you from the comfort of your own home. Visit howardmemorial.com slash telehealth to learn more. If you've ever bought or sold a home, farm, or business, you know how important it is to have an experienced professional on your side to handle the closing. The Queen Abstract has been making real estate transactions go smooth for many, many years. Whether you're buying, selling, or refinancing, trust the Queen Abstract Company. I do. Proud supporter of the Queen Athletics, Queen Abstract Company. Call them at 870-642-2533. Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services, formerly Revels and Company CPA, is the same great people offering you the same great services, just under a new name. Go see Sandra and Fernando for all your accounting needs and questions at 990 Highway 70 East in Queen. They're about more than just the numbers. They're about helping people get it right. Personalized service that their clients expect and deserve. Bilingual services are always available at Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services. Phone them at 642-5900. You have questions. We have honest answers. Planning your funeral may seem like a daunting task. We know you will have many questions. We also want you to know we will answer your questions with honesty and fairness. Our prearrangement specialists will guide you through the process with compassion and dignity. Call today at 642-6461 to learn more about your options. Chandler Funeral Home of DeQueen. We're dedicated to the care of those we serve. Your best source for lumber and building materials is Bailey Discount Building Supply in DeQueen. Bailey offers paint and stain, hardware, plumbing, electrical, cabinets, and vanities, concrete steps, and even generators and Cajun cookers. Literally everything that you'll need for your next building project. And you'll also experience the best customer service anywhere. That's Bailey Discount Building Supply. Visit them at 880 East Collin Ray Drive in DeQueen or call them 870-642-2851. Here at Warehouser, we have a plywood operation in Emerson, a softwood lumber facility in Dirks, and a nursery and orchard in Magnolia. We also have Timberland offices and operations in Crossett, DeQueen, Hot Springs, and Sheridan. In the past five years, Warehouser has given back to our communities where we operate over $500,000 in grants through our formal giving program. Find out more about our giving fund at warehouser.com. Tonight's halftime show is brought to you by Healthcare Express. Sick today, be seen today at Healthcare Express, open seven days a week. Natural Stats is sponsored by Twisted Tower Drop Theaters. We have decision and campaign headquarters on the G Plus. Stuff on the half of the road. Play the upper car. Three of 14 for three points. Three of 11 for three points. With 16 rebounds, two assists, five turnovers, and one steal. Our offensive leaders are Lord Bulti with nine points, Red Bell Lindsay with seven, Lucy Intelligent, Tough Up Brothers, Lindsay Richardson with 12, and part of the All right. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate that. We'll be back in three minutes with the halftime show brought to you by Healthcare Express. First State Bank has been serving our area's farmers for almost 50 years. Poultry loans are just one of the many types of agricultural loans that we offer. We understand the agricultural business because we're local, just like you. Stop by any of our branches and speak with a loan officer to see how we can help you meet your agricultural needs. We also offer livestock, farm equipment, farm service agency, guaranteed, and participation loans. Now that's just one of the many benefits you get when you bank with a local community bank. First State Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. 
Smiles of Arkansas is committed to providing quality dental care and oral health education to children and adults. At Smiles, patient trust, comfort, and satisfaction are among their top priorities. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Centers are staffed with highly skilled general dentists, hygienists, and friendly staff to offer you the quality dental care you need and deserve. Smiles accepts our kids and most other dental plans. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center, located in the Cultural Awareness Center in downtown DeQueen. Call 642-SMILE. That's 642-7645. Happy Thanksgiving from the Sevier County Housing Authority, 304 South 13th Street in DeQueen. Providing good quality, safe, and affordable housing. Applications are now being accepted for one, two, or three bedroom apartments at all sites. All applicants are screened and income limits apply. For more information, stop by the Sevier County Housing Authority, 304 South 13th Street in DeQueen, or call 642 2960. Wishing you a happy Thanksgiving. Friday Night Football. It's the National Anthem. The opening kickoff. Cheerleaders. Coaches. The roar of the crowd in the end zone. Just like your favorite team, Farmers Bank and Trust is committed to winning new fans every day. Since 1906, Farmers Bank and Trust has delivered friendly customer service and provided customized banking options. When you need a bank, come home to Farmers Bank and Trust. Visit myfarmers.bank to learn more. Farmers Bank and Trust, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Cactus Plaza has the fuel you need for your engine and your body. Power up with their great line of energy drinks like Red Bull, Monster Energy, Bang, Full Throttle, Turbo, and more. Or quench your thirst with the Powerade water. Cactus Plaza has non-ethanol fuel and diesel, along with fuel supplements such as Quicksilver or Marine Lubricants, oil treatments, brake fluids, small engine fuels, as well as premium racing fuels. So if you need power, Cactus Plaza is the place to get it. Get yours today in Queen, just one block east of the 7071 Junction. Smiles of Arkansas is committed to providing quality dental care and oral health education to children and adults. At Smiles, patient trust, comfort, and satisfaction are among their top priorities. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Centers are staffed with highly skilled general dentists, hygienists, and friendly staff to offer you the quality dental care you need and deserve. Smiles accepts our kids and most other dental plans. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center, located in the Cultural Awareness Center in downtown DeQueen. Call 642-SMILE. That's 642-7645. Tony and Greg and Joe back at the Coliseum, Lady Leopards trail by two, 20 to 18. And we got about three minutes before the second half starts. While we've got a minute, we want to acknowledge our, what we call, Greg, our rotating sponsors, our sponsors that are on DQTV. They're in the left corner. They're on the scoreboard. And boy, yeah. the DQTV broadcast would not be possible without them. Uh, Southern Home Furniture and Interiors, quality furniture, exceptional service, locally owned and operated. The Queen Auto Group. Uh, a family-owned business for over 35 years with a large collection of newly pre-used vehicles. And Trial Lakes Realty for uh, real uh, real estate, commercial, land, investment, rentals, all of it. Look for Trial Lakes Realty. Falasaki of Idabel, power sports, mowers, motorcycles, and everything in between. Also, the scoreboard sponsors are discount tire alignment, tires, rotations, alignments, Parts all and move. Fast, friendly service in the Queen and Broken Bow. Improved foods, fresh produce, delectable desserts, and a great selection of meats. Shop online. Pick it, click it, love it. All right, so we're going to take another, we'll say 60 second timeout. Come back, bring you the second half. You're listening to the Lady Leopards on KDQM. At this time of Thanksgiving, Bud and Jimmy Ray Gentry of Gentry Chevrolet and Queen would like to thank everyone in our corner of the world for their continued support of Gentry Chevrolet. It's been a rough spell with a virus, a couple of major funerals, and the auto factory shutting down at times, but through it all, Gentry Chevrolet continues to provide a great service for our area, and the Gentrys thank you for your support. If you need a new vehicle, let them order it for you. Gentry Chevrolet still has one of the best pre-owned inventories in our area. Once again, Bud and Jimmy Ray Gentry would like to thank you and yours for all you do for them and theirs. Check them out on the web at GentryChevyInc.com. Idabel National Bank is wishing you a picture-perfect table this Thanksgiving, and may everyone be in a very positive mood. Idabel National Bank wishes you a happy and festive Thanksgiving with your loved ones. May you always have a joyous day, be it a holiday or year-round, and may the Lord hear your blessings and bless you with eternal joy. Happy Thanksgiving from Idabel National Bank. <laughs> Lady Leopards brought to you tonight by Ricky's Body Shop, Lakeside Drive, 
quality auto body repair since 1982 by Diamond Bank. You offering sound and meaningful financial services by Pruitt's Foods. You click it, we pick it. You'll love it. Shop online today by Chandler Funeral Home, dedicated to the care of those we serve. By Ida Bell National Bank, where your dreams become reality. And by Howard Memorial, offering primary health care. Your new healthy starts here. Greg, in another game of interest, at least at Angel Walk Lane into Queen, uh, the Hurricane Redskins in the Elite Eight of the West Virginia Triple A High School Football Playoffs lead the George Washington Patriots 7 0 in the first quarter. All right. <laughs> that, that makes Bill Stowers happy. It does make Bill. He's listening to us. He's watching them, but he's listening to us. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm, glad that, I'm glad that he can see that and watch us and listen to us at the same time. Uh, back to the game at hand, Tony, the Lady Leopards are going to have to learn how to play against the one three one defense. Yeah. Positot will start with the basketball to start the second half. They also own a two-point lead. It is Dixon, Williams, and uh, Ellie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> No, excuse me, that is Dixon again. That's two Dixons. They have a Madeline Dixon. Yeah, and they have a Lacey Dixon, and that's thrown me all night. Lacey Dixon with a shot, no good. Rebound by Laura May Harp, and here come the Lady Leopards. Good rebound by Laura May Harp. Good defense by her to make that shot short, too. All right. To Northview. Northview hit three threes in the first half. Laura May looks like she might take one there, gets it to Newberry at the foul line. Miss, but Dawkins gets the rebound, and Dawkins gets it back out to Hart. Leopards set it back up with Northview, and then we got a kick on the Cosatot uh, Eagles, and that'll reset the shot clock to 35. It'll be Leopard basketball. You think those girls look at the shot clock? Well, I'm enamored by it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Me too, but I keep looking at it. Yeah. Dayton at the foul line gets the ball on the block to Dawkins. Dawkins kicks it back out to Laura May for three. No good. Dayton with another rebound, though, goes up, shoots, misses, and Madeline Dixon with the rebound for Cosentino. Back down the other way to Lacey Dixon, back to Madeline Dixon, across to Williams, to Richardson, playing with three fouls. Misses the... Uh, the shot, Newberry with the rebound. Allison for three. Nope. No. Bell with the rebound, though. Bell goes back up and shoots, won't go. And Carterby with the rebound, gets it out to Dixon. Still 20-18. to 18. That was the score we went to the half with. Williams to Dickerson. Back to Williams, now looking down inside to Richardson. She scores. Landry Richard. For the Eagles, you can't give up the base plan, Tony. Right. Bell gets the ball inside to Dayton. Dayton at the foul line has her ball blocked by Carter B. Coming the other way is Lacey Dixon. Steal by Dawkins. They go back across to Williams. She shoots a three. No good. Laura Morphy with the rebound. Leopards has not scored here in the second half, the first minute, and, or two minutes and 15 seconds or so. And we've got a good shot. Newberry on the block, and they're going to call a foul on Cosatot on the floor. May go on Madeline Dixon. It does. I'm serve team one. So Madeline Dixon and Landry Richardson, both with three for the Eagles. So Penelope Sims comes in for... David Newberry and, and um, number 15, well, up to Lake. Allison, this is a three pointer rebound by Cosatot. As they the ball out of bounds, Carter B got the rebound, tried to get the ball to Inglick, and uh, went out of bounds, and but Leopards get a break. We'll take it. We need it. Yep. Yeah. We look like we're just out of energy, Tony. Get the ball to Harp. Harp to Morphew. Cross the court pass to Harp. Harp looking to get the ball to Sims and then drives and kicks it off the bail bell on the block. No good. And Richardson with another rebound. We don't track the other team's uh, stats uh, except for scoring, Greg, but Richardson has a bunch of oh, yeah. rebounds. 
ball goes off to Queen. It'll be cause of top basketball. Penelope Sims has played some good defense. Yeah, Greg. good deflection there by the Penelope Sims. Keep, keep her from getting inside. Yeah. Now, we need to pay attention with where number 55 is and where she goes right there. Yeah, a little bit breaking up way too easy. Way too easy. 16 points. Cosatot leads by six, 24 18. They've done that 14 times. <laughs> Inside to Sims. Sims kicks it back out to Laura May to Dawkins. Dawkins for three. Oh. Halfway down and out, Laura May with the rebound. <laughs> Laura May Harper, the nice play. 24 20, 428 left in the third period. Good little scoop shot by Laura May Harper that time. Here's a three pointer by Richardson. No good. Laura yeah, May with the rebound. Laura May has really improved a lot. She's done from a good her. job in that. Yeah. Fell in. Had it out. Oh, no. And we're going to get a Penelope Sims. Yeah. We're going to get a foul on Penelope Sims. It's going to be three on her, Tony. Yeah, first team foul of the second half. I can't tell that girl, number. 13. 13. 13. Charlie Tadlock checking in for number 44, Kelsey Carter. And if she's anything like her family name, she's going to be a tough one to play. Dixon, try to get the ball to Tadlock. Stone by Dawkins. Hawkins keeps her head up, gets the ball to Laurel. Laurel, maybe should have took a shot there. Looks inside to Bell. But what do I know? Bell hits the back. So Bell now with nine points. Her and Laurel have nine apiece. And 24 uh, 22 is the Leopards have cut it to two. Williams to Inglek. Inglek back to Williams, back around to Dixon. Dixon directing the offense. 15 to shoot for Williams. This cross zone pass. Three point shot missed. Bell Lindsay. Leopards with a chance to tie or take the lead on this possession. Bell goes coast to coast. Little layup. Won't go. Hard ball. Down and jump, uh, jump ball. And it's going to be in favor of the Leopards. Good job by Lauren May there. Just Bell just a little shy on that, trying to put it right over the top of the rim. Laura throws it into Allison. Allison to Bell. Bell back to Allison to Laurel in the corner. Back to Bell. Bell penetrates, goes up from about 12 feet, won't go. Rebound by Richardson. Gets the ball to Dixon. 245 remains in the third period. Dixon and Williams pull it back fourth. We're staying on the Richards and now, Tony. Moving the ball around. Inglet. They get the ball to Richardson on the block. She goes up, won't go. Fight for the ball, and Laura May Harp's going to come out of there with it. Good Harp defense brings, by the Leopards there. Harp oh, brings, Richardson. Gets it to Bell. To Laurel. Laurel back to Hart. Bell penetrates. 15 footer won't go. Number 15, Inglick with the rebound for Kazatot. Two minutes left in the third period. They get far ahead to Tadlock. Tadlock leaving her open. She's going to take the shot if she drains it. Oh, it's already Tadlock with her first bucket of the ball game 27 22. Richardson, excuse me, Allison, Dawkins, and I don't think they got her for the walk, but she threw it off of uh, Bell, and the ball goes out of bounds. Ben Garcia in for Lauren May Hart. 27-22, Kazata leads. 1.30 left in the third period. Boy, Allison just about got a steal. Couldn't couldn't quite hang on to it. Ball goes out of bounds, and it'll be cause a tight basketball on their side. Tadlock with the basketball to Williams. Now back inside to Richardson. She Good has a block. shot blocks. Looks like that might have been Bell. It was. Head to Garcia. 
Garcia to Laurel. Laurel wide open for three. Oh, go. Holy shot. Dixon with the rebound. Coming back the other way to Tadlock. The Tadlock walked that time. 102 left in the third period. Leopards down five, 27 22. Game was 22 to 18 at the half. Well, looking to get the ball up, gets the ball to Allison back to Laurel. Now Richardson comes out to the guard, Laurel. Gets the ball to Allison. Allison goes down to the block. Can't get the shot, though. Fighting for the rebound is Bell. Bell comes out with it. Gets it to Laurel. Long three. No good. Ball going to go off of between the off of, uh, well, no, they think it's going to go off of Kazatot, and it's going to stay with uh, the Leopards. Checking back in for Kazatot is Lacey Dixon for Charlie Tadlock. Sims to Allison. Allison inside the bell on the block. And there's Bell. Now that's on Carter B. Oh, you're it's right. Carter B's second. Team second. Sorry. Sorry. I was wishing. <laughs> 27 seconds. Oh, boy. What a play by Mims to save that back off of going into the back corner. Oh, we were wide open inside, too. Got 19 seconds. Garcia to Morphew to Dawkins yep. for three, and it's good. Allison Dawkins gets her first pass to the game. 25 22. Six seconds, five seconds. Richardson with the basketball. To Dixon, Dixon, long three, and she drains it. Wow, Madeline Dixon gets a shot at the buzzer. It gives Kazatot a 30-25 lead at the end of three periods. We'll be back in 60 seconds. If you've ever bought or sold a home, farm, or business, you know how important it is to have an experienced professional on your side to handle the closing. The Queen Abstract has been making real estate transactions go smooth for many, many years. Whether you're buying, selling, or refinancing, trust the Queen Abstract Company. I do. Proud supporter of the Queen Athletics, Queen Abstract Company. Call them at 870-642-2533. Happy Thanksgiving from Fun and Learn Land Preschool and Daycare and Sevier County Developmental Center, 151 College Drive in DeQueen. Thanksgiving is a holiday started in our country by the Pilgrim Fathers to take time to thank God for the greatness of life and the fruit of their bounty. As we give our thanks and appreciation for all our blessings, the folks at Fun and Learn Land Preschool and Daycare and Sevier County Developmental Center truly wish you and your family a happy Thanksgiving. Coliseum, what's the time? The Madeline Dixon hits a long three at the buzzer for the third period and Extends their lead to five, yeah. 30 to 25. That's a heartbreaker. Going into the fourth quarter, and they get the basketball to start the fourth quarter. Dixon with the ball. Moves it left to Lacey Dixon. Madeline Dixon hit the big shot. Lacey Dixon. Don't know the first book. They look like they may be related. Uh, <laughs> a little bit muddy they are. Richardson moves right, covered by Bell. Takes a shot. It's partially blocked. With block Nate Newberry there. comes out with it. Morphew to Dawkins. Dawkins for three. Won't go. But Newberry gets the rebound. Looks inside to Dawkins. Dawkins to Bell Lindsay. Bell shoots. Won't go. Just won't go down, Tony. That Williams way halfway down. Williams with the rebound. Man to man by the Lady Leopard for now. Bell is playing Richardson. Conference. Now we're going to get a, a timeout by Kazatot. We'll take it with them. 30 second timeout, 7.05 left in regulation. They lead by five back in 30 seconds. Here at First State Bank, we've been serving the area since 1973. We're local, just like you, and being local means we make local decisions too. We're here to serve you quickly so you can spend your time wisely and not in line. Now that's just one of the many benefits you get when you bank with a local community bank. Bank at home with us at First State Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Which is the small town community bank, but we're big on you. 
Lee Gepard brought to you tonight by Fun and Learn Land Preschool and Daycare and the Sevier County Developmental Center by Southwest Arkansas County Services, 990 Highway 70 East, phone 642-5900, and by Red River Credit Union, providing our members with savings and loan services. Toss the top starts with the basketball, 705 left in this one, and they lead by five. And it looks like they stepped on the line, Greg, trying to, to pass the ball there. That was uh, Madeline Dixon, going to be Leopard basketball. And you get the feeling that uh, – if the queen is, is going to hold off Kazatov, they're going to have to start playing a little bit of defense inside and hitting a few more shots. Mims tried to get the ball down low, and they're going to say, well, for Kazatov, and they're going to stay with the Leopards. I, I think we may have got a break. No, it went off. Of Dayton gets the ball into Garcia. To Bell, back. To Lou, Lou to Dawkins, Dawkins for three. Good, Allison Dawkins. She has six points. 30 to 28. Good little assist there. Well, we don't get, we haven't gotten a whole lot of those today, I told you. Richardson. Just a bottle of Dixon. Dixon. Allison knocks it out of bounds. 17 to shoot when the Eagles take the ball out. Over in front of the, the Queen stands. Shot clock's only come in to really play one time tonight so far, just once. Yeah. I'm going to take a score two towards in this game, though, more and more, Tony. Right. Because I think that cross out. It looks like good defense by Bell Lindsay. Williams got the ball to Richardson. Bell defended her, got the rebound, we're headed the other way. Pass to Lou to Mims. Mims for three. Good. Mims Garcia gives the Queen their first lead in a long time at 31 30. Got to play defense now, Tony. Uh, Williams to Dixon. Dixon back to Williams over in the corner. They get the ball inside to Carterby this time. She kicks it back out to Williams for three. No good. Richardson. Gets the rebound, yeah. and then walks with the basketball. She walks, yeah. Checking in for the queen is Laura May Hart. Checking in for Garcia. One-point lead for the Leopards at the 533 mark. Hart brings it up, gets the ball for Laura. Back to Hart. Back to Laurel. Now, quick pass inside to Newberry. Newberry trying to get it low to Bell Lindsay. Stolen there by Carterby. She gets the ball to Williams. We're coming back the other way. Williams, Dixon. <laughs> Pressure down. So Richardson back to Williams. And now we may have a defensive foul on Bell. Yeah. Um, number 15, yeah, Bell Lindsay. Picks up her first, team number two of the second half. Matter of fact, fouls, not an issue right now. Either way, two fouls apiece. And now we're going to have maybe an offensive yeah. foul coming up. And it's going to go on Chelsea Carter to be her third. So Richardson has three, Carter to be has three, and Madeline Dixon has three. The Queen with the ball and a one-point lead at the five-minute mark. Allison Ford tried to get the ball in a cross court pass to uh, Hart, and it just turned the ball over. Yeah. Got over her head. Eagles basketball down one. Dixon. To Dixon. The battle of the Lacey back to Carterby. Lacey Dixon to Richardson for three. No good. The Queen doing a little better job now on the board. Laurel come away with that one. To Allison looking down low to Bell and ball knocked out of bounds by Kazatot. A good defensive play there for Kazatot by Kaylee Williams. Yeah, a good defensive play by her. Just Allison waited one second too long to throw that ball. Yeah. It, uh, the Leopards ball underneath their own hoop. 27 on the shot clock, Tony. Laurel. Allison and oh. Boy Ball just got away from Dayton. Credit Carter before steal, and the Eagles are coming the other way. 
Dixon has the ball knocked away by the defense. He does a good job on defense, just kind of a that net defense, kind of that nuisance yep. defense, yep. just kind of poking at the ball. And, oh, that's a foul. That's, that's Landon Dixon. That's going to be her fourth. Going to be third on the good play by Wadley right there. Just, she goaded her into that one. So she did. She did. She had poked at that ball, poked at that ball. She'd been doing it all night. And uh, Madeline Dixon had had enough. <laughs> yep. And pushed back and, and picked up the offensive foul. Harp to Bell. Bell for three. Good. Yeah. 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 Well, points for Bell. And the Leopards lead by four at 34 30. Give Ron May a half for the assist. Williams with the basketball. Nice defensive play by Newberry. Northview comes out with it. Gets the ball head to Dawkins. Dawkins from the left side. Won't go. Newberry with the rebound. And gets the top of the board and goes the other way. So it's going to be give Dayton a rebound and then a missed shot. That's going to be Kazatak basketball. And the Eagles want to talk about it. Leopards lead by four back in 60 seconds. Pilgrim's Pride to Queen Processing Plant has immediate openings for maintenance, both shifts, production workers, all shifts, part-time and temporary employment positions available. Between now and December 23rd, all new hires will receive a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Applications are available online at jobbite.com or at Pilgrim's Employment Office at 401 South 3rd Street in Dequeen. Open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Pilgrim's is an affirmative action equal opportunity employer. Minorities and veterans are encouraged... your smartphone, tablet, or computer to connect with your trusted providers. All you need is a valid email address to sign up. Telehealth visits are available for most clinic appointments, Compass Behavioral Health Services, and some emergency consults. Your health is our priority. Let us take care of you from the comfort of your own home. Visit howardmemorial.com slash telehealth to learn more. Lady Leopards and Leopards Box to you by Wilkerson Funeral Home. Putting families first since 1929 by Cactus Plaza. The fuel you need to power your day by Housing Authority of Sevier County. Providing safe and affordable housing and by Farmers Bank and Trust. Friends and neighbors helping each other find financial solutions for a lifetime. Here in the fourth quarter, the Lady Leopards on a 9-0 run now lead 34-30 with 325 left in regulation. Kazatot will have the basketball following the timeout. They're in little foul trouble. Richardson with three, Carter B with three, and Madeline Dixon with four. Nobody in really any foul trouble uh, for the Leopards. Richardson with the basketball. To Dick. We've been a lot better since we put it. That's a jump ball. And we're going to have yes, a sir. Ball. Yes, sir. I mean, the only one that possesses the ball belongs to the Queen, and that's the that's second. Great job by Laura May Hart there. I'm sorry. That's the, that's the uh, second play that she's made here in, inside of a minute that really changed the course of the ball game. First she drew the foul, and now she draws the jump ball. And now uh, she walks with the basketball. I'm glad that did it, but just a little bit. She's just good in the honey here. 259. Left. Leopards lead by four. Dixon with the basketball. He got Laura May all over her. <laughs> this is Lacey Dixon. There's There's Lacey. Steal by Allison. She's got her head up. Really, nobody breaking into the open. So she takes it herself, and it goes. Allison Dawkins takes the Leopards to a six point lead at 36 to 30. Dawkins. Nice play there. Nobody was really open. She took it herself. Richardson to Dixon. Dixon moves left and then right. Kicks the ball back around the wing and is in the corner. She drives the baseline and she That's okay. Down. That's okay. She's going to make her go to the line and earn them. Let's see if they call this on Laurel. Or yeah, going to go on Laurel. Her first team third. It's the end of the line for. Kazatot is Kaylee Williams. Now, she missed two foul shots earlier, but she just drained one there. 36-31. Second shot. Drains them both. 
36-32. Leopards up four with the basketball. Hart, Dawkins, now Newberry. They cross half court. Dayton comes down on the blocks, shoots, misses. Maybe partially blocked. Coming the other way is Williams. Trying to get the ball inside. Dayton Newberry with the steal. It's two on two coming the other way. Dayton left handed layup, and she's going to be fouled and go to the line. It'll be a number one. That's going to be all for her. If that is on Madeline Dixon, it will be five. And it looks like Charlie Tadlick will, Chadlock, excuse me, will check back in for Kazatosh. She had a big three earlier, Greg. Yeah, she did. Madeline Dixon will foul out with three points. First shot by Newberry is no good. Got to make those free throws, Toby. Yeah. And it's, it's hurt us again tonight. Second shot by Dayton. No. Oh, bounce around. No. Richardson with the rebound. Leopards up four at the 145 mark. That's in the ball game. Williams. Here's Richardson for three. No good. Tadlock with the rebound. And now we're going to have a jump ball. That's going to be the Lady Eagles ball. Yeah, it's going to stay with them, Greg. That is something the Leopards have done well tonight. The Lady Eagles come down with the basketball, don't don't keep it up high, and the Leopards tie up. You know, they'll let them run that same play and score. Hey, what do you know? They didn't do it. And now we got a small ball. Tadlock just about lost the ball. Gets it to Williams for three. No good. Hark with the rebound. To Morphew. Morphew brings the ball up. We'll see if the Leopards take a little more time this time between the, the shots. Hark and Morphew, 24 to shoot. Here's a three by Morphew. No good. Go. Ball is going to go out of bounds, and it's going to be Kazata basketball. Really weak there, Tony. Yep. Yeah. You know, I think we shouldn't be in a big hurry to shoot yet. <laughs> she just walked across that court. And see what happens here. It looks like they're going to give her a redo, Greg. <laughs> 109 left. Four point lead for the Leopards. I don't know what that was about. And a little grace, a little mercy. Williams with the basketball. Gets the ball to Tadlock. Tadlock to Williams. Williams. Gets the ball to Dixon for three, and she brings it. Lacey Dixon brings a three. Gets that take the time. Pause the top. Back within one at 36 35. Hart. Three point shot. Nope. It was a pass to Moore across the zone. 21 seconds to shoot. Things are going to get loud here, Greg, for the next 30 seconds yeah. or so. Dawkins, and we're going to have a foul on Kazatots. Lacey Dixon, that will be her second. And they're still not in the one and one. Yeah, but you know, they're saying that it is with the shot clock. Why does he do that, Tony? The shot clock resets now. Of course, it, it resets. It's off, it's it's off now. Yeah, that's right. But I mean, they had a shot clock. That's a good thing. They, they were down to 10 seconds. That's on a the great shot clock. Clock. Like, inside, and she's going to be fouled. We'll see if that comes if against Richardson. And it is. Landry Richardson just picked up her fourth. Bell Lindsay will go to the line. Well, Bell is three of six from the line tonight. Make it four of seven if she makes the first one. 13 points for Bell Lindsay. It's two. Kazatot will get the ball back, though, with a chance to tie. Bell makes the second one. 14 for her, 38 35. 17 seconds left in the ball game, and Kazapot will call a full timeout. 38 35, 15 seconds left. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Your husband is pretty handy to have around. He makes the world's best mac and cheese. He's in the Tickle Monster Hall of Fame. <laughs> and he can teach anyone how to throw strikes. But a busted pipe and a basement full of water? Honey, I think we need a plumber. Is a little out of his league. That's where a homeowner's policy from Shelter Insurance comes in handy. We'll help get your house back in order and your husband back to what he does best. <laughs> In DeQueen C. Shelter Insurance Agent Jeff Woods, proud sponsor of this Leopards broadcast. 
Are you ready for fiber to the home internet service? Four States Fiber is in the process of building a network to reach every Southwest Arkansas Electric Cooperative member, bringing one gig fiber internet service to homes and businesses with unlimited data, free installation, and no contracts. From high school sports to the hogs to the pros, stay in the action as you stream your team to victory. Visit fourstatesfiber.com and click on check availability for more information. Four States Fiber, internet service you can be happy about. Tony and Greg back at the Coliseum, and it's been a good one. The Queen Boots 38-35. Consultant has the ball. Greg and I are discussing during the timeout. The Queen has three fouls to give, Greg, before they get to the one and one We'll see if that's the strategy that Coach Spears yeah. uh, chooses to implement here. Yeah, no foul struggle for anybody. So once they get it in, let them run around, get, get fouled. It's like right now, Williams to Dixon. Dixon to a Harderby. Goes through Richardson's hands. It's going to be the Queen basketball with eight seconds. And now you got the bigger card. Cosatot has. Well, they're going to get a turn. The girls was not responding that they would have to foul. So get a timeout here. I think that's their last timeout. 38 35. We'll take a 30 second timeout with them. Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services, formerly Revels and Company CPA, is the same great people offering you the same great services, just under a new name. Go see Sandra and Fernando for all your accounting needs and questions at 990 Highway 70 East into Queen. They're about more than just the numbers. They're about helping people get it right. Personalized service that their clients expect and deserve. Bilingual services are always available at Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services. Phone them at 642-5900. Lady Leopard's brought to you tonight by the Queen Auto Group, our area's Ford, Dodge, Chrysler, and Jeep dealer. All right, here's the uh, setting. The Queen leads by three, 38, 35, eight seconds left in the ball game. They are going to try to inbound the basketball here against uh, what I'm going to say is a ferocious uh, Cosatot River press. They're going to foul as soon as they can. They have to. So if, they get the, if we get the ball inbounds, they're going to foul it. And there, Bell has the ball, and she is going to be fouled, as Greg called by number 10, that's Kaylee Williams. That's just her second. But what it does, it puts Bell at the line for Ron Bell. Just made two foul shots not 30 seconds ago. And uh, going to try to make it. Uh, one would be big. One would put him up by four. And that, that would be tough to only do. But he this one right here. Yep. And the other one doesn't matter. And it is good. 15 points for Bell Lindsay. And the Leopards lead by four with six seconds to go. I'll tell you what, it's been an all Leopards second after it. It has. Second one is good. Bell with 16. Just don't foul him here. But pass into the corner. Tadlock shoots a three. She runs it at the buzzer. <laughs> Charlie Tadlock took two shots in this game and made them both. So good. <laughs> Queen Leopards are going to come out here with a 40 to 38 win, a hard fought win over the Cosatoc uh, River Lady Eagles in a, in another well played close basketball games. Which, but that's often how we play with these people. Yeah, that's exactly right, all the time. That's right. So we're going to take a three minute timeout, give Joe time to tabulate the stats, and and we'll be back. Lady Leopards win 40 38. Back in three minutes. I always enjoyed sitting on the front porch with my granddad. I love to hear his stories about the old days, like the grocery stores actually had folks working at the checkout. He'd say they'd carry your groceries right out of the car for you. As he reminisced about how service used to be, I realized that there's still a place that offers great service, Pruitt's Food, where you'll always find friendly hometown spirit, fresh meats and produce, hot deli food, and yes, they'll even carry the groceries out of the car for you. Pruitt's Food, over 40 years of great service. We can sum up McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich in one word. Crispy, but also juicy and tender. Okay, it's crispy, juicy, tender. All one word. But then, also pickle. Oh, and potato bun, which is two words. Okay, we can sum up our new crispy chicken sandwich in one word. So, you'll just have to try it to understand it. Order ahead on the McDonald's app at participating McDonald's. 
Banking locally does a lot for your community. Diamond Bank is a family-owned community bank that makes all of our decisions locally. With Diamond Bank's new rewards checking accounts, we pay you to bank with us. Earn a high interest rate or get cash back every month. Stop by one of our 15 convenient locations today and discover the Diamond Bank difference. Or visit us online at www.diamond.bank. Diamond Bank, 404 East Collin Ray Drive in Queen. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. At the Dequeen Church of Christ at 1305 West Collin Ray Drive, we are dedicated to be Jesus to our community and excited to announce the opening of our new on-site food pantry. Our pantry is open the first and third Wednesday of each month from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. The Dequeen Church of Christ is an equal opportunity TE, FAP, and USDA food provider. We would love to see you this Sunday at 1015 a.m. or check out our website at dqcoc.com. Thankful for freedom, thankful for opportunity. Dequeen Auto Group is thankful for all this great country of ours has to offer. They know you feel that way also. As you count your blessings, Dequeen Auto Group is counting theirs too. Among the top is their many, many friends in this area through many years of family-owned business and loyal service to the community. Dequeen Auto Group is wishing you a very happy Thanksgiving this year. Dequeen Auto Group is your local Ford, Ram, Dodge, and Jeep dealership. Proud to serve you. With RRCU's mobile app, you can do your banking right from the stands. Need to make a loan payment, transfer funds, or check your balance? It's all right there at your fingertips with the RRCU mobile app. While you're there, check out Zogo, the new financial literacy tool that allows you to earn rewards and get paid to learn. RRCU members and non-members have access to the Zogo platform at no cost. Download the RRCU app and begin your journey to financial freedom today. RRCU, federally insured by NCUA. Tony Greg and Zell back at half at the end of the girls' games, which ended up with a Lady Leopard victory over the Lady Eagle of Crosstalk River, 40 to 38. And now Joe Blaze is going to give us the stats for the game. Oh, the shooting percentage for the Leopards is 26 percent. Leopards have 32 total rebounds, six total assists. 10 total turnovers and 5 total steals. Leading scores for the Lady Leopards. One of you had 9. Bell Lindsay had 16. And Allison Dawkins had 8. For the Cost of River, Legend Richardson had 16. Carnaby had 8. And Hadlock had 9. All right. And that's the stats for the game. The Lady Eagles lose to the Lady Leopards. The final score is 40 to 38 for the Lady Leopards. Bell Lindsay, the leading score, was 16 points. And uh, we're going to be back in two minutes to talk to Coach Jared Fannin. We'll be back in two minutes on your Leopard Network 92.1. Harris Drug and Gifts, a gift for everyone for every occasion. Whether it be their Razorback Corner with every possible gift for that sports fan in your life or the large selection of home decor and candles for mom or that wonderful lady in your life. Harris Drug and Gifts is one of the largest gift stores in the area, providing gift ideas for every occasion for everyone. Harris Drug and Gifts, 205 DeQueen Avenue in historic downtown DeQueen. And, of course, who could forget Renee and that full-service pharmacy? Harris Drug and Gifts. Bailey Discount Building Supply is stocked with everything to make your home look 20 years younger. They have quick step laminate flooring, faucets and sinks, ceiling fans and paint, bathroom tile and carpet, fence panels and even dog houses. They're also stocked with doors, deadbolts, power tools and plywood. Bailey Discount Building Supply, 880 East Collin Ray Drive here in DeQueen. Helping you build the best for less. Bailey Discount Building Supply. At Weyerhaeuser, our vision is to work together to be the world's premier timber, land, and forest products company. Frederick Weyerhaeuser, our company's founder, once said, This is not for us, nor for our children, but for our grandchildren. Nearly 120 years have passed, and we've been growing, harvesting, and regrowing forests on a continuous cycle. We manage the most sustainable, versatile, and renewable resource on Earth, our forests. Tonight's coach's interview is sponsored by Outlaw Barbecue, catering southern style smoked barbecue, homemade sides, located beside Bailey's Discount Building Supply. Open Fridays, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m., Saturdays, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Visit Outlaw Barbecue on Facebook. And our coach's interview tonight, we've got Jared Fannin. Coach, I'm, I was anxious to get to talk to you. you know, we got us to visit briefly after the Texas right. Atlanta game, but you kind of had a chance to digest the 2022 season. Give me your thoughts. 
And, you know, it's, it's, uh, you, 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 after every season, you know, every game you look back on things and look on things, and, you know, had some time now, you know, been away a couple of weeks and just kind of really digest, uh, you know, the season. And, uh, you know, overall, please, you can see the improvement from our guy from uh, week one to week 10. I think that's no question. Uh, you know, got, got him better and we improved, uh, uh, every game and then, uh, you know, just uh, instilling these guys with the work ethic and the commitment and, and the heart that they play with it's just outstanding. I'll tell you, down the stretch, especially, you know, when you're 0-7, 0-8, there's, there's a lot of teams that, that, that frankly, just don't put forth the, 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 the effort. And man, I'll tell you what, we put forth the effort from uh, into the very last play of the season. You're exactly right, Tommy. Uh, these guys, uh, if you came to our practice, you would never know what our record was by our practice. You know, it, it, they never change uh, just because of our record. You know, these guys, they come out. Uh, they treat it every Monday just like it was a Monday, every Tuesday uh, you know, like it was a Tuesday. So, again, you could never tell by our practice uh, what our record was because those guys come out and, and practice hard and, and try to get better each day. Well, Coach, man, we appreciate your time, and we want to appreciate Outlaw Barbecue for giving you a $10 gift certificate yes, sir, right, for being on our coach it's interview. Them. It's very, very good. The coach, they do a great job over there. And, uh, Thank you, guys. All right, man. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. All right. So we're going to go right into our, our pregame for the uh, for the boys' game. And uh, we're going to start with the series history. The series history is presented by Southwest Arkansas Accounting. If you want very flexible, trustworthy experience working for you, then you want Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services. Phone 870-642-5900. And uh, as, as, as with the girls' game, you know, these teams have only been playing a, a little less than 10 years. You know, Casa Talk to River High School uh, has only been around that long. And I'm going to tell you, uh, Casa Talk has, has pretty much dominated this series, Greg, on the boys' side. They have played seven times. Uh, they are 5-2 and two against our uh, 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 Leopards, and they are 5-2 and two on the season. So uh, uh, this is a good basketball team coming in here tonight. Yeah, it, they're going to be a good basketball team. And if you, uh, one of the biggest players they've got, uh, if you look at it, is uh, I can't remember his first name. Lawrence Day. Lawrence Day. Yeah. Yeah. He's a transfer from me to, Yeah. And he heard us last year. Yeah. He yeah. heard us wearing black and, or, or black and red last year. That's right. Now he's going to be wearing black and white. He's going to hurt us. But, uh, you know, it, he's just he's just, uh, just an outstanding player. They're all going to be good out. Uh, we'll talk about a couple of other uh, games. And they're brought to you tonight by Bristol Custom Metals, officially licensed partner of the Arkansas Razorback, specializing in Razorback logo metal and art. Shipping is available. Find them on Facebook. And I looked at the Ashton Elkins score, couldn't find that. Uh, Nashville is trailing Pocahontas in the second quarter, seven to nothing. Tony Old, uh, Rachel at Fox, also in basketball tonight. Two new football games tomorrow. One on this at Arkansas at six thirty, and and every you at Northwest Missouri State beginning at one p.m. tomorrow afternoon on one hundred three point one. The good thing. Entry of sponsored by Simply Kind Optic. Dr. Elkins' office is located just north of the seventy seventy one junction, and still the uh, football efforts. Uh, Micah Gibson still uh, hobbling from football season, and he will be in tonight's game. So that's the keys to victory tonight, Greg. They're brought to you by Diamond Bank, who can help you with all your financial needs and get personalized to Queen Leopard debit cards. I think the number, the number one thing, it goes back to the same thing that we talked about with the girls, it's the fundamental basketball, because Costa Rivers, if you're going to be a good fundamental team, they played early, and, and I think they're going to, uh, uh, we're going to have to be fundamentally sound to, to compete with them tonight. I totally agree. They come in five and two, and uh, uh, they are traditionally a very good basketball team, have been very hard on us uh, in the, the past. So we just got the opening or the starting lineup for Cossata. We'll bring those to you in just a second. The Leopards are getting ready to be introduced, and we'll have to let Greg handle it. Okay. And uh, le- uh, tonight's Lady Leopard, I mean, excuse me, tonight's <laughs> Leopard starting lineup is sponsored by Don's Easy Pay. Don offers rent to own with 120 days, same as cash and resale sales. Don's Easy Pay, taking care of their customers' needs. <laughs> Starting lineup for our the Queen Leopards tonight. 
Number zero, Manny Hernandez, a senior. Number one, another senior, Cooper Young. Number five, another senior, Monroe Barnett. Number 14, DJ Morris. Finishing off, number 25, another senior, Nathan Patterson. Go ahead, brother. On that Kansas River lineup, we we just had a late change in the uniform. Number one is Dylan Loving, and he's in their starting lineup. Okay. Number one is Dylan Loving, starting for the Costa River Eagles. Also starting number 13, Hunter Burke. Number 22, Lucas Trinidad. Number 25, Cody Bailey. And number 30, Henry Evans. All right, tonight's opening tip is sponsored by the Sevier County Farmers Cooperative, serving farmers and cattlemen since 1948, specializing in farm and animal products. In the circle is Nathan Patterson for the Leopards. He's number 25, and Greg, he had 25 points at Hayworth. He did. I had a great game. And, you know, the Leopards played a good game after getting behind 15 to 1. Henry Evans in the circle for Kazatai. Kazatai is going to control the tip. That's number 22. That's Trinidad. Remember him from his sophomore year, and uh, he can shoot the basketball. Loving now over on the outside with the basketball. Trying to get the ball down low, and we got a steal by the Leopards. Cooper Young's going to get credit for the steal. He wasn't the one that knocked the ball away, but it's usually the guy that ends up with the basketball that gets credit for the steal. Monroe inside to Manny. And Manny trying to get the ball inside to Morrison. It's taken away by the Eagles. Number one, Loving misses a three, gets his own rebound, follows his own shot, and he's going to be fouled. That's going to go on Manny Hernandez. Manny's first, team first, and Dustin Loving, or Dylan, excuse me, is going to go to the line and shoot two shots. I was thinking about Dustin Loving when you said that. Yeah, me too. And they're going to put some time back on the clock. I'm not sure when or why, but they're going to 10 seconds on a 7-19 now. That's, That's a lot. <laughs> Loving makes the first points of this game. Second shot. That's good as well. So, Dylan Loving with... The first two points of the ball game, and the Eagles lead our Leopards two to nothing. Yeah, they they two for two one for us. Yeah, we break it. We sure did. Barnett has got on the blocks, pulls it back out, and now gets it to Hernandez. Hernandez, he's double team, gets it to Coop. Coop's going to shoot a long three, no good. And boy, a nice hustle play there for the Bailey on the Eagles. He goes coast to coast and scores. Cody Bailey. Puts the Eagles nothing at the 6:49 mark of the first period, and they're pressing again. Leopards get it out of there. Get the ball to Morris. Now Monroe Barnett, Patterson for three, and won't go. Ball alive, 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 and now almost rebounded there by number 30 Evans. Hit off his foot out of bounds. It's going to be Leopard basketball. Leopards have the ball down under their own basket. Trying to get it in. Cooper gets it into Morris. And Morris has the ball knocked out of bounds. A nice defensive play by Lucas Trinidad. And I want to tell you, Greg, the Eagles came to play tonight. Oh, yeah, they they, they play basketball. They're playing it. They had that same one three one. Yeah, it's kind of extended, but uh but uh, now the Leopards throw the ball out of bounds. You know, you schedule Hayworth, you schedule Crosatide, you have to realize you're playing teams that they're non-football playing schools, and they're going to have six, seven, eight games under their belt by the time they get to you. That's right. And uh, that works against you. Well, one thing we can't do is start as slow as we did last week. No. Number 13 for the Eagles is Burke, and he shot a three. It, it caromed off the rim out of bounds. It's going to be Leopard basketball. Crosatide continues to press, Greg. 
and they uh, they are moving that press around really, really well. Patterson to Cooper Young. Leopard's up against it. Do get across the timeline with Nathan Patterson inside to Manny Hernandez, inside to Morris, back to Hernandez, Cooper for three. And it's three. It's a three. That would make Drew Dykes proud for three. Eagles loving for three. No good. Hernandez with the rebound coming the other way. Cooper Young to Manny Hernandez. Manny goes all the way down the middle. Scores Manny Hernandez. Gives the Leopards a 5-4 lead at the 5-25 mark of the first period. Good move by Manny there. Just drive the ball and nobody got in front of him. He just kept going to the basket. And Bailey's going to be calling for a walk. So it's going to be Leopard basketball with a one-point lead at the 5-18 mark for the first period. Danny Morse gets the ball ahead to Monroe Barnett. It's going to go off the foot of number 25, Cody Bailey, and stay the Leopards ball. Monroe will inbound it for the Leopards to Cooper Young. Oh, Cooper, he saw Morris open and just, well, just the pass was a little bit off. Yeah. I know Morris is pointing himself, but but uh, it wasn't right to him. It's going to be equal back. It was a rocket. <laughs> it was a Brett Farm rocket. That's right. <laughs> Lovey. He shoot the ball down low to Bailey. Bailey with a 10 footer. Good. That's very close. Excuse me. All right. Hunter Burke with his first point, 6 5. Bailey is 25. Hernandez down the middle. Let's go. Rebound by the Eagles, number 30. That's Evans. He gets the ball quickly ahead to Burke. Burke goes down the middle. And he's going to be fouled and get to go to the line here, I imagine. Super young. Yeah. It's going to be Coops first. It's going to be team two. It's on the floor. Oh, they called that on the floor. So a little bit of a break there, at least for now, <laughs> for the Leopards. Timeout. And now we're going to get a timeout for Kazatai. We'll take it with them. We're going to see if this was uh, extended or it's going to be 30 seconds. 6 5, Kazatai back in 30 seconds. Football is a way of life for our community, and supporting our community is a way of life for Farmers Bank and Trust. We believe that support isn't just offering great products and services, it's being active in our community. Whether it's cheering on the home team on Friday nights or supporting academic program during the day, Farmers Bank and Trust is our community's biggest fan. Find a branch near you at myfarmers.bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Leopards brought to you tonight by Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center, giving you something to smile about. All right, cause a tots ball. Eh? They're up 6'5", 436 first period. They're passing around Burke, Loving. Now Bailey, now back to Burke. Burke just about lost the ball, gets it to Loving on the right. He misses the three, and they're going to be over. Manny's back as Manny gets the rebound. Sounds going to be on 22, Lucas Trinidad. That's his first and team one. Six five Eagles. Cooper Young with the basketball. Uh-oh. Gets the ball to Baltimore Morris to Hernandez. Hernandez drives inside. They start and good. Manny Hernandez has four points. He leads the Leopards. They lead seven six. Quickly is Kazatot the other way. Burke. Boy, Maya got away with an offensive push there. Well, I think you just broke your day on top of it, did you? Yeah. Okay. He just. Burke to Loving. Loving goes inside and blocked off just for a minute there. Looks like number 30, Evans, misses the shot. Coop comes out with it. They get the ball out ahead to Patterson. Patterson for three. Won't go. Morse with the rebound. Back to Coop. Coop for three. That one won't go either. And a rebound by Loving of the Eagles. And they're coming the other way very quickly. Loving. Has the ball knocked in the air. It's retrieved by Burke. Good defense by Cooper Young there. People will score a big score. Yep. They go back around to Loving. Now cross court to Burke. Burke for three. No good. Ball goes out of bounds. There's no way the referee saw who hit this ball. That's because he had his head turned. <laughs> he had to turn his head. Yeah. So we get the benefit of that. It's going to be Leopard basketball. Sam Graham's coming in for um, – Manny Hernandez during the timeout. Also, uh, Lawrence Day. Lawrence Day is yeah. making his 
first appearance, at least against us as an eagle. Yeah. Was a bear cat, now he's an eagle. The big eagle. <laughs> he is a big eagle. Patterson for three. He won't go. And Doe gets the rebound. And now we're going to have a foul on this end. We're going to go on Sam Graham. Sam's first, team third. Leopards lead 7 6, 3 2 first period. Robin brings the ball up for Kazakhstan. Really no reason for that side. No. That no, was clean rebound and headed the other way. Burke. So loving. Leopards playing good defense right now. Burke kicks into the open at the top of the key. Draws. Has the ball knocked away by Young. And we're coming the other way. Oops. Kind of weaving in and out of like uh, taking a driver's test in traffic cones. Gets a Patterson for three. Nathan Patterson, 25 at Hayward the other night. First three of the night. Manny getting ready to check back in for the Queen along with number three, Jared Matthews. Trinidad to Burke. Burke to Day. Day going to go to the hole. Nope. Going to give the ball up to Trinidad. He's going to shoot a three. Lucas Trinidad. 10-9. He hurt us with those threes last year. So. I mean, it wasn't last year. Two, two years, years ago. ago. Yes, sir. As a sophomore. Cooper Young. Into the corner. Patterson for three. No good. Rebound by Trinidad. Trinidad quickly coming the other way. Gets the ball ahead to Burke. He shoots from the block, and it goes. But it's going to be called for an offensive foul, Greg. Good job, by Nathan Patterson there to give the position to draw that charge. So Hunter Burke gets his first and second. Leopard sleep 10 9, 142. We got Manny in and, and also number three, Garrett Matthews. Nathan Garrett got a haircut. Yeah, Nathan <laughs> goes to the finish. I wouldn't have recognized him. <laughs> Didn't have that number three on. And now Matthews misses one, gets his own rebound. It's a bunch out to Monroe. Sam with the fake and him knocked to the floor. We'll see what the call is here. And they are going to call it on number 25, Cody Daly. His first team three. Three team fouls on both squads. 123 first period. The Queen leads 10 9. And Lawrence Day is going to be called for a foul here. And that will be his first and team four. Coach Slade, he out. Nathan Patterson, he has. Yeah. Now we've got an official coming over. All right, so we get the sub in for Coop. Monroe to Manny to Sam. Sam for three. Won't go. And hit the top of the backboard. Wasn't a bad shot, Greg. It just had a little a spring in that. Rim. Yeah, just up a little up too high. 10 9 to Queen. One thing left. First period. They got, go ahead. they got Garrett in there all day. Yeah. It'll be an interesting. He's going to shoot a three. No good. I have a feeling we'll let him shoot those all night if he wants to. Because that's not where I would say that he's the most effective of. That all goes out of bounds to be Leopard Ball. And as, as they tried to get the rebound, Garrett was going off the court the whole time. He's not going to let him do anything without. Patterson yeah. for three. No. Oh, oh, boy. Burke with a nice rebound coming back the other way. 40 seconds left in the first period out to Day. Day gets the ball inside. And nice pass there by Day. He jumped into Cody Daly. Four points for him, and Kazatot leads 11 10. Cooper inside the Garrett. Garrett, hey, another nice defensive play. Coming back the other way now. Trinidad, 20 seconds left in the quarter to Burke. Burke for three. No, won't go. Ball on the floor and uh, a little bit of a little melee. <laughs> and they're going to call a charge. A charge? Is that, is that correct? 
Okay, they're going to call out of bounds. Yeah, they're going to call out of bounds. Cooper back in with 13 seconds left. In for Garrett. 13 seconds left in the quarter, excuse me. Cause the top leads 10 9. Coop brings the ball up. Monroe. Boy, I just could not. Uh, good pass. Sam couldn't handle it. Coming back the other way on the steals. Cooper Young to Patterson for three in the quarter. And it doesn't go. Still one quarter. Our Leopards trail Constantine 11-10, and we'll be back in 60 seconds. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, focus, and dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. In DeQueen, see Shelter Insurance Agent Jeff Woods, proud sponsor of this Leopards broadcast. Taqueria El Paisano in downtown DeQueen serves the most authentic, juiciest street tacos and other traditional Mexican dishes that will serve your appetite right. From their mouth-watering Mexican dishes to their refreshing flavored waters that will cool you down on a hot sunny day, you'll want to make a stop at Taqueria El Paisano pretty soon. They are located in the downtown square of DeQueen and they are open at 10.30 in the morning every day of the week. Visit them at 121 North 4th Street in downtown DeQueen or call them at 642-5043 to place your order. That's Taqueria El Paisano in downtown the queen second quarter sponsored by southeast feed you will get value for your money and top-notch friendly service at southeast feed five miles east of the fleet on highway 7071 all right leopards trail 11 10 going into the second period if you missed it earlier the lady leopards go to 2-0 and on a year with a 40 38 win a very good ball game against the lady eagles checking in for the clean is Kadarius baker Promising sophomore. Morse with the basketball to Patterson. Patterson back to Morse on the block and then trying to get the ball to Baker. And boy, it's a nice attempt by the young man to keep the ball from being a backward violation. But uh, in vain is Kazatot's going to end up with the basketball here. 739, second quarter. Day. Still in the lineup, loving now with the basketball to Trinidad. Down low to Bailey, back to Burke. They're trying to get the ball, so they're trying to look in, but the Leopard's doing a pretty good job inside. Man to man right now. Tom. Yeah. Trinidad looking for three now. He penetrates, gets in the paint, shoots. No good. Ball almost tipped in. Day gets the rebound and the putback, and it won't go. Nathan Patterson on the rebound for the Queen. Patterson to Hernandez. Hernandez from the foul line. Don't go. Baker trying to tie up Loving. Ball on the floor. Threw in on the floor. Going to be a jump ball. And Kazatot will get the ball on all their possessions. Good job by Baker that time. Yeah. Got down there with the big boys. I thought he had the rebound for a second. I didn't know. Get, get a hold of it. Loving brings the ball up for Kazatot. Gets it to Burke on the right side, back to Loving in the middle. Long three. This is everything, and it's going to be Leopard basketball. I've seen that. Yeah, that, I saw that. that. Yeah, that's, that's exactly. No, I wasn't thinking about you, but I was thinking that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> now we got a steal. This is Lawrence Day. Day. Out in front, he's going to be fouled before he has a chance to take a layup on the floor. Just a matter of who it's going on. It's going on Manny Hernandez. His second, team fourth. Checking in for the Leopards is Monroe Barnett. And Manny may sit the rest of the half, Craig. Yeah, that's, that's not a good pass. Though. No. I mean, Manny didn't have a choice to do that or give it to the boy. That's right. Todd's a top with the inbound. They find Trinidad in the corner. He'll shoot the three and he'll play. Lucas Trinidad. Leaves all scores with six points, and Kazatot leads the clean 14 10. And the Leopards nearly threw the ball away again as Trinidad made another good defensive play. Sam Graham's checking in for Baker. They'll stay with the Leopards. Cooper Young to Monroe Barnett. Barnett to Graham. Graham to Morris. Nice pass. Maybe just one too many, though. Is Ball on the floor, going to go off of the queen, and it's going to be 
Eagle Basket. One of the things that Morris could have done that time, Tony, is turn around and square up, and then if, if Nathan was over. That's right. You bring the defender around. That's right. You know, if that defender comes and gets you, he tries to pass it over the shoulder. You shoot that. That's right. Inside, 25 is Bailey. He misses the shot. Monroe comes out. With the rebound, Leopard's trail 14 10, and I think Monroe might walk with the basketball. I think he got his head up and decided he was going to make a pass, and maybe the pass wasn't there. Well, what happened was by the time he got ready to pass it, Nathan Parrish had turned it back. And not nothing, you know, it's just one of those miscommunication things that happens, you know, from time to time. Trinidad to Loving. We're back in the zone now. Yeah. This is Bailey. Bailey scores. Cody Bailey has six points, and the Cosita has their biggest lead of the ball game at 16 10. Barnett to Morris. Morris to Patterson. Patterson for three. Not, not going to anything like Patterson. Just one of those threes tonight. Rebound by Cosita. They come in the other way. And here's Trinidad for three. Somebody better get a hand in Lucas Trinidad's face, Greg Revels. Cosatot has real last 10 straight points, and they leave 19, 10, 5, 11 left in the first half, and we're back in 30 seconds. During this Thanksgiving day of festive celebration, Chandler Funeral Home extends their best wishes for a Thanksgiving holiday that is warm with friendship, hospitality, and spirit of Thanksgiving. As we give our thanks and appreciation for all our blessings, may we forget our troubles. This is the sincere and warm wish of Chandler Funeral Home in Dequeen. Tony and Greg back at the Coliseum. Cosatots on a 10 0 run, and they lead our Leopards 19 to 10 with 5 11 left till halftime, Greg. And, and uh, somebody's going to have to get a hand in Lucas Trinidad's face. Well, also, that, I mean, we got a score. You know, if we hadn't scored this has been almost three minutes this quarter. We hadn't scored yet. You got you to score the basketball. Now they're going to double team with the run of that 1 3 1. Here comes two, two for three, and he brings it super young. That gets points. That'll get you out of that 1 3 1, Tony. Yeah. Loving to Burke. Burke inside to Bailey. Bailey goes up and had a ball blocked from behind by number five, Monroe Barnett, I believe. Going to go out of bounds, going to stay with the Eagles. I couldn't tell if he blocked it or Sam did. You think it was Monroe? Yeah, okay. that might be my best guess. Okay. <laughs> Loving. <laughs> just, yeah. A, yeah. just about. He's quicker than I am. He just about threw it back to Burke. <laughs> Burt was not ready for it. He doesn't retain possession. Here's Day for three. It won't go. And ball loose. It's not to loving, though. Seems to be in the right place at the right time. Yep. Trinidad. To Burke. And now it's Cooper Young almost broke in front of that. Loving retains it. 22 to shoot. Trinidad with the pass to ball. Leopard's playing good defense right now. And now they're going to throw the ball out of bounds, and it's going to be a leopard ball. Good defensive sequence there by the Leopards, Greg. Maybe the best uh, of the half. Yeah, they did. They're going to play Hernandez back. Man, he's going to have to be careful. He's playing with two fouls. Yeah. The grow out. Hernandez to Patterson. Patterson to Morris. Oh, boy. Sam broke into the open. They didn't see him, and now they see him. Underneath the basket, Graham goes up and scores. Sam Graham. It's 19-15. The Leopards once down nine, now down four. Burke with the basketball baseline. Goes over top. Hernandez misses the shot. Patterson clears it out. And we're coming the other way. Leopards with a chance to narrow the lead a little more. Cooper Young for three. Won't go. Day with the rebound. Boy, he just ripped that baby down. Gets it out to Trinidad. To Loving, Loving throw with a long three, won't go. Well, Morris gets the rebound. 320, first half, Leopards Trail, 1950. Patterson to Hernandez. Hernandez to Graham. Graham working down low, shoots, and he's going to be fouled. Who is going to be on Loving? It is Dylan Loving picks up his first at 10 5. And going to the line to shoot two is Sam Graham. He already has two points tonight. Sam's done a good job. He has. 
defensively and sophomore, not hitting a lot of varsity minutes. This is the first one off the back of the rim. Monroe checks into a penny. Second shot coming up. That is no good. And Lawrence Doe gets another rebound. Yeah, he's going to hurt his head on the back for it. <laughs> the Trinidad says, Day, Day goes all the way down the middle, shoots and scores. <laughs> Lawrence Day with his first two points of the ball game. Probably going to have a maybe a second to foul. So we have a technical foul called on Lawrence Day, I believe, Greg. Well, that's another that's two fouls over this movie. Yeah, that's right. That counts as a personal and a team foul. Cooper Young's going to shoot the foul shots for the Leopards. And he'll make the first one. Cooper has seven points. That one's no good. So Leopards will get the basketball down five, 21 16. They apparently made the basket and said something <laughs> on the way back down the floor. Well, one of the referees said he was mouthing all the way down the court. He said he didn't say either. <laughs> so <laughs> conflicting stories. Graham with the basket. That's a lot. Yeah, you can't pass it to yourself, though. No. Going back the other way. Loving brings the ball up to the Eagles. To Trinidad. Trinidad cross court pass to Burke. Burke's going to shoot that three ball. He's going to bury it. Hunter Burke has five points. 24 16. Leopards down eight. And now a near steal there by Bailey. And uh, i tell you what, Greg, the, the Eagles, they're a very sound basketball team. They play good defense, they work for good shots. And uh, we're going to have our work cut out for us to get back at this ball game. Yeah, well, I mean, you got to, you know, you got to recognize what they're doing. The great yeah. goes up on the block. That one goes down. Four points. 24-18. Loving with the basketball back to Burke. He's going to shoot a long three. And yeah, no good ball. Hits off of. Graham made a great day, Greg. The ball was going out of bounds. It was going to be off the Leopards. He threw it off at number 25 of Bailey, and it's going to stay with the Leopards. I don't even know how to score that, Tony. I don't either. I'm, I'm, I would give Sam a rebound. Anyhow, I did give him a rebound. There right, you go. <laughs> Patterson. To Barnett. Barnett got his head up. For Hernandez in the middle finds him. And then to Cooper, back to Barnett. Barnett penetrates the foul line, gets the ball down inside to Morris. Morris has his shot partially blocked. Cosatot comes out of there with it. This is Burke coming the other way. Back to Trinidad. Back to Burke. He's not afraid to shoot this three. So Loving moves inside, goes all the way, and then tries to get the ball. Probably, again, a case of one too many passes. And number 25. Bailey for being in bounds. We're looking probably just to the shot of the Yeah, yeah. One too many passes there. Loving had an open shot. 122 left till half. Here's Patterson for three. Won't go. And a rebound there by number 13. Right above. But a steal there by Morris. Andy Morris with the steal and the put back 24 20. Burke with the basketball. Leopards. Was down nine. Now they're down four, cutting into this. And now there's Manny starting yeah. out. Loving goes to the hole, and he drew that third foul on Manny Hernandez. So the Leopards only have five team fouls. Unfortunately, three of them are against Manny Hernandez. Yeah, now he got technical. Well, now he's got, now oh, he's got yeah. four fouls. That's a technical foul on Manny Hernandez. That is going to be his fourth team six. I believe. So Kazatot has chose, it looks like they've chose Dylan Loving to shoot the free throws. Good choice. He was two for two last time he got to the line. 
25-20, Eagles. Four for four. 26-20. Now the Eagles will have the basketball. Boy, the Clint had the momentum going their way, Greg, and that just just turned it all. Now he's going to actually get those. Those were the technicals, or those were the two shots. He's getting, he's getting ready to shoot again. Yeah, he's getting two shots now. The killer. And that one goes five for five. 27-20, and Kazatov scoring without the clock moving. Yep. He made all four of them. Six for six from the line, Kazatov. Now leads by eight and has the basketball. Trinidad to Burke. Burke to Loving. <laughs> Looked like Burke was going to shoot that baby. He did before. Yeah. There he goes. Pulls up inside the point line. Greg Rebel, favorite shot. Misses it, and we're going to get a foul. I think going back the other way against Compton's on 25. On the offensive rebound. Uh, the signal here? Yes, yeah, 25. 20, Bailey. 25 with Bailey. His second. And now we're going to go one on one on the other side. Team seven. That's Sam Graham. He'll shoot one and one. Makes the first one. Sam has five points here in the first half. Second shot. Over. Sam with six points. Him and Cooper Young has seven. Sam has six. 28 22. 44 seconds. Loving for three. No good. Patterson on the rebound. Leopards have a chance to cut this thing in half right here. Patterson shoots the three. No good. Rebound by Trinidad. They've got four and one. Yep. Coming the other way, Loving. This is the layup. Patterson in a playing defense, and he defends it and gets the rebound. Nathan Patterson, great muscle by that young man. He comes back the other way, 16 seconds. Back to Monroe Barnett to Patterson. Patterson blocked off momentarily. But Sam Graham's going to end up in the basket. He has eight points, 28-24, two seconds. And that is the end of the half. It ends on a 4-0 leopard run, but they still trail at the half. 28 to 24. Give us three minutes to tabulate the stats, and we'll be back. At Pruitt's Foods into Queen, they understand that quality product and a quality shopping experience go hand in hand, which is why Pruitt's takes such pride in their meat department. From choices whole meat selections, experienced butchers, quality cuts, and excellent service, to daily low prices and special holiday deals. Speaking of deals, be on the lookout for their upcoming meat sale just in time for the holidays. By the way, if you're at Pruitt's Foods and don't see something you need in their meat department, just ask for an available butcher to assist you. That's Pruitt's Foods into Queen, located on Colin Ray Drive and available for online grocery pickup at Pruitt'sFoods.com. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Or as we like to call it, the can't have just one deal. Mix and match a flaky sausage biscuit, savory sausage McMuffin, sausage McGriddles, or crispy hash browns. Want two sausage biscuits? Buy one, get one for a dollar. Want a sausage biscuit and hash browns? That's cool too. Choose more of what you love. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Prices and participation may vary. Valid for item of equal or lesser value. It cannot be combined with combo meal. Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services, formerly Rebels and Company CPA, is the same great people offering you the same great services, just under a new name. Go see Sandra and Fernando for all your accounting needs and questions at 990 Highway 70 East in Queen. They're about more than just the numbers. They're about helping people get it right. Personalized service that their clients expect and deserve. Bilingual services are always available at Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services. Phone them at 642-5900. Pilgrim's Pride to Queen Processing Plant has immediate openings for maintenance, bolt shifts, production workers, all shifts, part-time and temporary employment positions available. Between now and December 23rd, all new hires will receive a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Applications are available online at jobvite.com or at Pilgrim's Employment Office at 401 South 3rd Street in Dequeen. Open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Pilgrim's is an affirmative action equal opportunity employer. Minorities and veterans are encouraged to apply. 
Smiles of Arkansas is committed to providing quality dental care and oral health education to children and adults. At Smiles, patient trust, comfort, and satisfaction are among their top priorities. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Centers are staffed with highly skilled general dentists, hygienists, and friendly staff to offer you the quality dental care you need and deserve. Smiles accepts our kids and most other dental plans. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center, located in the Cultural Awareness Center in downtown DeQueen. Call 642-SMILE. That's 642-7645. Gentry Chevrolet of DeQueen would like to remind you that this is the time of the year it's very important to keep your vehicle winterized. At Gentry Chevrolet's award-winning service department, they'd be glad to check your antifreeze, check your vehicle for a tune-up, let them check out why your check engine light stays on, have them replace your cabin filter in these cold days. Gentry Chevrolet would be glad to help you get the most out of your car. But if you want a new ride, let your Gentry Chevrolet folks order yours for you, or if the late model low mileage ride will work, Gentry Chevrolet is the finest pre owned inventory in our area. Check them out on the web at gentrychevyinc.com. Tony, Greg, and Joe back at halftime, and the halftime show is brought to you by Healthcare Express, offering urgent and primary care. Visit them online at www.gohce.com. All right, so there's your halftime stats. 7.15 left in this half time on a moving clock. Cause it's hot. Leads to Queen 28-24. We'll be back in three minutes. The folks at Ricky's Body Shop bring you a special greeting at Thanksgiving time to express to you their sincere appreciation for your confidence and loyalty. They extend to you their best wishes for a happy and healthy Thanksgiving day. Let Ricky's over 30 years of experience work for you. Take your vehicle to Ricky's and get an estimate for your job. You have a choice when it comes to repairing your vehicle, regardless of where an insurance company recommends. Happy Thanksgiving from Ricky's Body Shop, 202 Lakeside Drive into Queen, 642-2811. At Weyerhaeuser, we're experts at using trees to offer a sustainable solution for shelter. Weyerhaeuser.com If you've ever bought or sold a home, farm, or business, you know how important it is to have an experienced professional on your side to handle the closing. The Queen Abstract has been making real estate transactions go smooth for many, many years. Whether you're buying, selling, or refinancing, trust the Queen Abstract Company. I do. Proud supporter of the Queen Athletics, Queen Abstract Company. Call them at 870-642-2533. Looking for a bank that cares about you and your community? First State Bank is your community bank. We're involved in our community because that's important to us. That's what local businesses do, and we're a local business too. Visit us to see how you can join the First State Bank family today. You'll even get a free gift if you join. Because that's local banking done right. Terms and conditions apply. First State Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. If you've recently found yourself searching for a new family pharmacy, Harris Drug in downtown De Queen is it. Let pharmacist Renee Logan and the entire friendly professional staff are in your business. They have everything you expect in your family pharmacy. They accept most insurance, have a full gift shop, even wedding and baby registries, a new baby section, and free delivery inside city limits. Ask about Harris Drug's mobile app and website and enjoy their convenient location. Harris Drug in downtown De Queen. Everything you want in your family pharmacy. Taking a trip with your kids' ball team this season? Or maybe you're planning a big family getaway and just need the extra room your normal vehicle doesn't provide. We'll stop by to Queen Auto Group, reserve a rental, and travel in style to your next event. They have a multitude of larger capacity vehicles waiting to take you where you need to go. Check out the website at dequeenford.net or call Tammy for reservations at 870-642-3604. Our local Ford, Ram, and Dodge dealership. The Queen Auto Group, proud to serve you. 
Okay, Greg, Tony, and Joe back at the Healthcare Express halftime show. And we've got a few scores on football. Elkins leads Ashdown 21 to 14 in the second quarter, and Nashville leads Pocahontas 19 to second. It's a bit of a surprise seven in the yeah. second quarter. Long drive to Pocahontas. Yeah, I don't know. The scrappers have got saved their best football to the end. They're playing really well right now. Yeah, and they, they're doing well. Also, one thing I want to mention, uh, tomorrow night, both our junior teams, girls and boys, are going to be playing in the finals of the National Junior Invitational Tournament against the National Junior Scrapper and Scrapperettes. Uh, girls game begins at 6 p.m. All right, so look. Greg and Joe and I will be at Caddo Hills. I'm told that that is north of Glenwood. Yeah, I, I've it, never been there. It is. Okay. Well, it's a beautiful place. You're driving. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not because I'm going to beat you there, actually. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm, I'll have to get out the GPS. And, nah, it's not hard. You turn, you turn left at McDonald's and Glenwood and just go to see the school on the right. I'm going to remember that on the 29th. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so at Caddo Hills that night, that's, that's ninth grade girls, ninth grade boys. And senior girls and senior boys action that yep. day, uh, December 9th, the uh, Lady Leopards and Leopards play at Center Point, and then they are in the uh, Nashville uh, Senior Tournament, December 12th through the 17th. They're in the Genoa Central Christmas Tournament, uh, December 27th through the 29th. That is a tournament that both our squads won last year, Greg. Yeah, sure as as uh, we took all the hardware home from that, then we traveled to Melbourne on January 3rd for the first conference games. And then we make our triumphant return to the Coliseum to play our second home game of the year against Philadelphia on January <laughs> the sixth. Yeah, I, I remember. I remember starting one of those Genoa Central games for, on an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to you on an airplane stat and texting you the stat. I do. I remember that as well. Yeah, and then you were gone for the final. Jay and I were down there. Yeah. You know, there's nothing to freak Jay Bungard out more than that, and then having phone issues <laughs> when you're trying to do a broadcast. Yeah. And, and the internet was horrible. Then. You're going to have them down there. Oh, yeah. If, unless you get an at and phone, you are. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's a, that's get the Verizon signal in Genoa is sketchy at best. That's right. We're going to take one more 60-second timeout, come back, bring you the second half. You're listening to the Leopards on the Leopard Network, 92.1. First State Bank has been serving our area's farmers for almost 50 years. Poultry loans are just one of the many types of agricultural loans that we offer. We understand the agricultural business because we're local, just like you. Stop by any of our branches and speak with a loan officer to see how we can help you meet your agricultural needs. We also offer livestock, farm equipment, farm service agency, guaranteed, and participation loans. Now that's just one of the many benefits you get when you bank with a local community bank. First State Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Harris Drug and Gifts in downtown DeQueen is your fragrance headquarters this holiday season. For the ladies, pink sugar, euphoria, light blue, cool water, Versace, and much more. And for the men, you go boss, obsession, Paul Sebastian, polo, double black, Dracar Noir, and many other favorites. Harris Drug has a good selection of infant clothes and accessories for boys and girls, too. And don't forget the popular Razorback Corner. Happy holidays from Harris Drug, downtown DeQueen. The Coliseum need to be the second half. Our Leopards trail by four, but have the basketball. Have the, a little bit of momentum going into the half. Greg scored the last four points of the half and trail 28 to 24. Monroe gets the ball into Coop, and off we go. Biggest problem we're going to have is we've got to play basically this whole half foul manager. Well, you're right. Four fouls for Manny Hernandez. Steal right away for Trinidad. And the Cosmetons coming back the other way. Now loving with the basketball, and he's going to set the offense back up. Lucas Trinidad over here on our left gets the ball to Bailey. Bailey trying to get the ball inside to Evans, and Evans up, misses the shot. Nathan Patterson with another rebound. Nathan has only got uh, three points tonight, but he's been good on the board. That's six rebounds for Nathan. Yeah, sure, sure has. Super young. Good Graham. Maybe three because of the miss. This is top of the bottom. And Patterson with the rebound. And won't go. Doggone it. Here comes Trinidad for Cosatai uh, for coming back the other way. 
to both both boy and Nolan Pass. And I'm going to tell you, his uh, buddy Bailey wasn't looking for it, but Nathan Patterson was. He gets the steal. Nathan falls out the defense. Now get the ball to Sam Graham over on the right, back to Cooper Young. Now Patterson for three from the student section, and he hits it. Nathan Patterson, boy, we'd like to see him beat up. He has six points, 28-27. Trinidad with the basketball. Back to Burke. Burke moves left on the baseline. Has his ball blocked, I believe, by Graham. And then Loving gets the rebound. Morris with the missed shot. And here we're coming back the other way. Cooper Young. Now here to Morris. Morris goes down the middle. Shoots. Won't go. Ooh, the backboard goes right in. Yeah. Evans with the rebound for Kazatai. They're back quickly to Trinidad. Trinidad going to be found, I believe, by Nathan Patterson. I'm not sure if he was fat or not, but that's the way this call is going to go. Yeah. Final. His first, team first of the second half. Going to be a two-shot foul, though. Lucas Trinidad had nine points in the first half, all threes. I'll bet he can shoot free throws, too. I bet he can. <laughs> first shot. Yeah, that was good. good. He sure did. Positot was six for six. No oh, way it missed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> before, before that miss. Second shot is no good. And now coming down with the rebound is, is Morris. And we're coming the other way. Sam Graham. The two coop trying to get the ball inside oh. and just, just bounces off my head. Now we're going back the other way with Monroe Barnett. Oh, oh, oh. Fake and then missed the left handed layup. Coming back the other way with Loving. Dylan Loving. Gets the ball over on the right side to Burke. And Burke scores. Hunter Burke with seven points. Kazatan leads by three, 30 to 27. Young. Here's a long three by Patterson. The Graham did it. Get it way down there up foot back. Sam Graham with 10 points going to try to make it 11 on this end one. Second foul on Trinidad. Yep. Lucas Trinidad picks up number two. Great. Great rebound and, and put back by Sandra Andre. He's playing a well of a game today. He is. Young sophomore. Had eight points in the second quarter. Adds another bucket. Here's the offensive rebound by Patterson. Goes up. Can't quite connect. Nathan just, uh, just a little off tonight. Burke to Loving. But they don't make it a shot easy for you, folks. No. Burke down inside there for cancel foul on Hunter. Excuse me, Henry Evans. It's going to be his first, his second. It's going to be the twin basketball. 5 1 in the third period. Great defensive job by Sam Graham. Yeah, Sam Graham has just had a really good ball game all the way around. Graham. I thought he opened the foul. Leopard has 12 points. He leads all scorers in this game. And the Leopards lead 31 30. And they'll come here still by Barnett. He goes get back to that for three. Won't go. Patterson knocks the ball to Graham. Graham gets another rebound. Here's Sam going down the middle. And he has the ball stripped. Nice defensive play there by Trinidad. Eagles coming back the other way. Here's a three-point shot by Burke. That's no good. Danny Morris with the rebound. So the Leopards up by one and have the basketball. Closing in on four minutes left in the third period. Mario Barnett and Cooper Young. Extended 1-3-1, Greg. It's what they've been, well... Is it a one three now or is it a one two two? No, it's just a it's a one six two now. Yep. Rebound on the Cooper Young miss by number thirty Evans. Kazatot getting ready to make some wholesale substitutions. Yep. Loving, and then we got a steal by Cooper Young. It's one on one with Loving. Cooper goes up. No, won't go. Morris gets the rebound for us. He goes up. 
That one won't go either. Monroe gets the rebound and they're good on. Monroe going ahead. Puts the Leopards up 3, 33 30. Coming back the other way is Trinidad to Loving. Loving looks inside and Hogan scores and is fouled. Henry Evans, his first basket of the ball game. Fouled by Morris, Tony. And then today, ready to check in. And it looks like Kazatot is taking out everybody but the shooter, Greg. And now. Okay, Kazatot had six on the floor there for a little bit. Days come off. Evans misses the foul shot. Rebound by Patterson. And now we're coming back the other way. Leopards lead by one. 33-32. Graham from the foul line missed. Coming back the other way. It was Evans with the rebound to Burke. Burke at the blocks. Misses the shot. That loose ball. And that's Baker coming out of there with it. So Patterson, Patterson to Cooper Young. Cooper Young to Pat. Now we're going to have a foul. This is a top foul. is going to go on number 15. Landon Phillips. His first. Team photo. Yeah, number number 20, Lawrence Dave's checking in for number 30 for the cost by Richard Eagle. Interesting here, Henry. Constantine has all five starters off the floor. Yeah. Graham to Baker. Baker penetrates. Now kicks it back out to Cooper Young for three. Good. Get Baker the assist. Get Cooper Young the basket. Cooper has 10 points, and we've got a timeout. 36-32. Leopards, 231 third period. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Wilkerson Funeral Home, proud to be a sponsor of this Leopard Sports Broadcast. Just like the Leopards, Wilkerson Funeral Home has always been a proud, strong part of our community. For years, the Wilkerson family has been serving families in southwest Arkansas. They understand that each family member and every life remembered are uniquely different from any other. Putting families first and ensuring that each life is properly honored is their promise to you. Wilkerson Funeral Home, dependable professional service since 1929. Supporting the Leopards, it's Wilkerson Funeral Home. Methods brought to you now by the Taqueria El Fazano, the taco stand downtown serving the best street tacos by First State Bank. We're big on you and by Four States Fiber, internet service you can be happy about. Visit fourstatesfiber.com and check availability. Constantine with the basketball down four. And, uh, get the ball to Burke. Now back around to Dave. He's going to take a three. Maybe. They're going to try for traveling. So it's going to be. Didn't see that one, Tony. I didn't either. Uh, I don't know how you travel when you're dribbling the ball. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I never see the loss anyway. Baker, <laughs> with the basketball, they've extended that defense out to half court. Get it to Graham in the corner. Yeah, they're they're trying good. to trap. Yep. Yeah. Morris has the ball knocked away. Patterson ends up with it. And now we're going to have a foul on Lawrence Day. It'll be his third. Toss a top five, I believe. Maybe four. Let's see. And we'll keep it at four. So 14 fouls, three on Day. It'll be the ball underneath their own basket. Super Young to Morris. Back to Baker. Back to Coop for three. No good. Patterson, though, almost got that rebound, Greg. Yeah. Knocked it out of bounds. It's going to be Toss a top's ball. 150. Left in the third period, cost the top down four at 36 32. Back around for cost of tie. It's Austin Bailey gets the ball in to Bales. Bales misses the shot. Rebound by Sam Graham. Yep. Ahead by Patterson. Back to Coop. Coop's going to take a long three. And it's going to bury Young. Cooper Young has 13 points, and now he leads on Leopard scores. 39-32, a seven-point lead. Day goes all the way in for the easy bucket. Lawrence Day has four points, 39-34. 110, it's fast and furious now. Graham on the blocks, and he's a rock. Well, that's the least, least 
It could have happened to him. He could have been called for a charge. Yeah. A little out of control. Yeah. Both. The Bales. Bales gets it back outside. That's number 15. Phillips. He misses the shot. Graham gets the rebound. Leopard's up five with the basketball. 50 seconds left in the third period. And now Phillips almost takes the ball from Baker. And Baker steps on the line, and it's going to be Tries to basketball. Just good effort by Baker there. It is. Buck throws the ball in. Gets the ball to Phillips. Phillips works the ball back around to Day. Bailey with the shot. No good. Rebound there. Sam Graham. Graham again. 30 seconds left in the third period. Leopards up five. Cooper Young, Darius Baker now with the basketball. Back to Coop, 19 seconds. Shot clock off. Patterson for three. Good. Nathan Patterson. He has nine points. And the Leopards lead by eight. Biggest lead of the night, 42-34. Here's a three-point shot. Gets the top of the backboard. And that is going to be the end of the third period. The Queen Leopards 42, Concertown River Eagles 34. We're back in 60 seconds. The Queen Auto Group, your local Ford, Ram, Jeep, and Dodge dealership, welcomes all listeners to this sports broadcast. The Queen Auto Group offers a wide selection of replacement parts and automotive accessories. Whether you need floor liners, grill guards, seat covers, trailer hitches, LED lighting, or custom parts, the Queen Auto Group has you covered. They are family owned and operated for over 37 years. The Queen Auto Group, proud sponsor of this sports broadcast. Idabel National Bank is wishing you a picture perfect table this Thanksgiving and may everyone be in a very positive mood. Idabel National Bank wishes you a happy and festive Thanksgiving with your loved ones. May you always have a joyous day, be it a holiday or year round. And may the Lord hear your blessings and bless you with eternal joy. Happy Thanksgiving from Idabel National Bank. All right, Tony and Greg back at the Coliseum. Eight-point lead for the Leopards going into the fourth quarter. And Constantine will start with the basketball. Leopards dominate the third quarter, 18-6, lead by eight. Burke just standing there with the basketball. Leopards are going to let him do it. Now he gets the ball left to Loving. Manny's back in, Tony. Yeah, I sure is. Manny playing with four fouls. Burke for a three. He carries. Hunter Burke with 10 points. Leads all. Kazatot scores. And that cuts the lead to five at 42 37. Patterson and Keith Young pass the ball. Now they get Monroe involved. Back to Cooper. Back to Monroe. Long three pointer. Won't go. Burke. With the basketball. Coming back the other way. Pass out to Trinidad. Trinidad for three. And it's just like that. Yeah. Oh, is back in the game, Greg. 12 points for Trinidad, 42 to 40. Took him a minute to cut an eight point lead to six. Yeah, that's how he just came into two. Yeah. And that's for the foul. Oh, Manny Six points for Manny, 44 to 40. Going back the other way. Long shot. Oh, there is a 13 points for Hunter Burke. He's your leading scorer, Tony. Yeah. 44 43. An eight point lead to start the period. It's down to one. A minute and a half into it. Hernandez inside to Morris. Yeah, go up. Morris to Monroe. Monroe to two for three. Two carries it. Monroe. The assist getting Duke the basket. 16 for him. 47-43 between. Long three for Burke. Wow. Hunter Burke has 16 points. 47-46. And now they're just exchanging blow down. Yeah. Yep. Monroe Barnett to Coop. Coop back around to Patterson. Patterson thought about shooting, thought better of it, gets it inside to Morris. Morris goes inside and he's going to be fouled. 
Looks like it may be a villain love it. Yep. Picks up his second. Team Cobb. But uh, Danny Morris is going to go to the line and shoot two shots. Two points on the night back in the second period. And that was off the front of the rim, no good. Second shot. Uh, that one goes just barely. Danny has three points. 48-46. Sam Graham Leppers for Danny. Yeah. Graham back in the ball game. Kind of man to man on Burton now as Monroe Barnett low box in one action for the Leopards. <laughs> yeah, that's, all right. that's all right. That's Monroe's first, team third, and uh, just denying the ball. Trinidad to Loving. Now that's a man to man straight up. Yeah. And a really nice play by Patterson to get a hand on that pass. It goes out of the stay with Kazakhstan. 24 to shoot. And now the Eagles made an appearance, Greg, down in the corner. He sure has. <laughs> I have been here the whole ball game that I know, that I've seen. Although, <laughs> but to Trinidad. Trinidad to Loving. Loving guarded by, oh, well, you got to call something there. Collision on the floor. No call at all. Leopards come out of there with the basketball. Patterson for three. No good. Rebound by number 25. That is Bailey. Ahead to Loving. Loving to back to Bailey at the top of the key. He's going to penetrate now. Take a little 12 footer. It won't go. And the queen comes out of there with the basketball. It was blocked off. I know. I have no idea how we got it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't see most of the time. <laughs> Cooper Young. Somehow I feel like it's a team. <laughs> See, Grant to Hernandez. Hernandez on the basketball. No. Evans with the rebound. Evans to Loving. Loving drives, drives, drives. Goes inside. Still on Loving. With eight points. First score besides free throws. All right. right. 48 apiece. Hernandez goes inside. Won't go. What a play by Monroe. 50-48 to Queen. Four minutes left in the ball game. Bud to Trinidad. Trinidad to Loving. Loving. Looks inside. And missing the shot is Owens. Graham with another rebound. And we're coming back the other way. 340 left in the ball game. The Queen leads 50-48. Keeper Young. See Barnett. Barnett to Manny Hernandez. Back to Coop. Coop for three. Good, Cooper Young. 19 points for Coop. And Kazuta wants to talk about it. 53-48. Leopards, 3.29 left in the ball game, and we're back in 30 seconds. I love my church family. Amo a mi familia de la iglesia. I love my church family. I love my church family. At the D-Queen Church of Christ, we are a community of Jesus followers. We are not a group of perfect people, but our glory is in the cross of Jesus Christ and the saving power of His grace. Our church family has a relaxed nature with a passion for sharing Jesus. We would love to see you this Sunday at 10.15 a.m. or check out our website at dqcoc.com. Over the past century, Diamond Bank has worked hard to provide our customers with the best in financial services. We're proud to call DeQueen home and enjoy serving the community any way we can. When it comes to financing, let our experienced loan officers help you purchase, refinance, or remodel your home, fix up your rental property, expand, or begin a new business. Whatever the need, our financial team will be there for you. Diamond Bank, Colin Ray Drive in DeQueen. Online at diamondbank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Leopards brought to you now by Island Smith Furniture in Nashville, where you'll find everything to furnish your home both stylishly and affordably. And by State Representative Deanne Boss, proud to serve Southwest. 
Southwest Arkansas to Captain. I'm sorry. It's all right. Leopards up five. So excited about this game. I just couldn't get hurt out of my mouth. Cosatot with the basketball. 329 left in the ball game. Trinidad today. Jay, looks like you wanted to shoot a three. Now he's going to penetrate and kick it out to Loving. Leopards quick on the defense. Now Day from the uh, won't go. Rebound goes by Evans. He gets it to Loving. And Loving goes into the ball. Dylan Loving, 10 points. 53 50 Leopards. You are young with the basketball. It's amazing how much left handed people can do. So yep, you're right. Because everybody thinks you're going right. Yep. And Hernandez with the shot at left go. And Burke gets the rebound. Hunter Burke brings it up for Constantine. A chance to tie the ball game here on this position. Gets the ball down inside to Evans. Evans shoots it through. That gets Constantine back to within one. Four points for Henry Evans, 53 52. 230. Left in the ball game. Lamb. Barnett. They're going with the basketball. Got a nice screen from Garnett to Patterson. Patterson for three. Won't go. Evans gets it out to Day. Day all the way. Misses the dunk. Good block. You think so? Yeah. Cooper Young coming back the other way. Layup. Won't go. Trinidad with the rebound. He gets the ball out ahead. So Evans, Evans finishes up. And they will see me. He finishes that layup. And Cosa Cot leads 54-53. At the 150 mark. Sam Graham. Turn around jumper. Has got the day with the rebound. Ponsatot has the ball and the lead by one. 54 53. Broke for 30. No good. Walks off. It looks like Sam Graham gets another rebound. Coming back the other way. Cooper Young. He goes one on four. Goes down and misses the shot. Rebound by Bailey and Kazatov wants a time. One nice team left in this one. Kazatov wins to clean 54 53. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Your best source for lumber and building materials is Bailey Discount Building Supply in Dequeen. Bailey offers paint and stain, hardware, plumbing, electrical, cabinets, and vanities, concrete steps, and even generators, and Cajun cookers. Literally everything that you'll need for your next building project. And you'll also experience the best customer service anywhere. That's Bailey Discount Building Supply. Visit them at 880 East Collin Ray Drive in Dequeen or call them 870-642-2851. All right, 119 left. Kazatot leads by one, and they have the basketball. If you're joining us late, Lady Leopards won the first one, 40-38. You know, another barn burner, Greg. Every time we play these guys, it's a yeah, close game. Great basketball game. And now we're, we get, we're looking at the scores. We're having a conversation with the, one of the officials. I'm not sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so it's a timeout situation is what we're looking at. Yeah. The Queen has three. Cosatot has two timeouts. Cosatot has the basketball. The Queen not pressuring at the point of attack. They'll pick up the pressure at half court, maybe. And now they're going to let Cosatot run the ball down. Day just holding the basketball. 25 on the shot clock, 109 on the game clock. So, eight seconds on the shot clock. Leopards just letting Day hold it. 55 seconds. Nine to shoot. Day penetrates and he left. And I saw that one. I saw that one. I don't think he, the coach or Day thought they did. Yeah, he, he lost. 51 seconds now. Leopards with the basketball down one. He needs to go for one and we're Tony. Now that's where the 35 second clock comes into play. Yep. Yeah. We're going to go Nathan Patterson. Patterson to Manny Hernandez. You'll have to shoot soon if you want that two for one. Right. Patterson penetrates no good. Hernandez and Monroe fight over the rebound ball on the floor. And now we got a jump ball. Ball will look long. Looks like it's a To the Leopards. 29 seconds left in the ball game. 
Shot, so the shot clock. Off. That's right. Shot clock will be off. We have we're down one with the basketball underneath our own hoop. So you play for one. I, uh, I'm nobody's coach. I probably don't. Uh, I, I swear if I get an opportunity. Yeah. Now we go to uh, another officials conference. He didn't ask me, but I've got an idea. Yeah, the, the shot clock was off. And, uh, well, well, they, it shouldn't have went off, though, because okay. the offense gets the ball back, so they don't get it off. Right. So what they're saying is – How much time to shoot do you have? Well, there was, there was 50.1 seconds left in the, in the same where we started this. So that would mean 21 seconds would have run off. That's right. So we should have 14 to shoot. Is that correct? That's what I think. I don't know what they're going to put on there. It doesn't look like they're going to put anything on there. <laughs> no. I guess they're just going to let it go. That ain't right. Like. Monroe, with the basketball to Manny. Manny penetrates to the power line, gets it to Sam. Sam to Patterson. Patterson for three. Oh, in and out. Slam with the rebound and a foul. Oh. They're going to call it on the floor. They're going to call it on the floor. Oh, man. Fouls on number 25. That is Cody Bailey, his third. Team six will be Leopard basketball, and uh, Coach Lindley wants to talk about it. Leopard still down one, 18 seconds. We'll have the ball when we come back. You're listening to the Leopards on the Leopard Network, ADQN. Friday Night Football, it's the National Anthem. The opening kickoff, cheerleaders, coaches, fun, the go. roar of the crowd in the end zone. Touchdown! Just like your favorite team, Farmers Bank and Trust is committed to winning new fans every day. Since 1906, Farmers Bank and Trust has delivered friendly customer service and provided customized banking options. When you need a bank, come home to Farmers Bank and Trust. Visit myfarmers.bank to learn more. Farmers Bank and Trust, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Pilgrim's Pride to Queen Processing Plant has immediate openings for maintenance, both shifts, production workers, all shifts, part-time and temporary employment positions available. Between now and December 23rd, all new hires will receive a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Applications are available online at jobbite.com or at Pilgrim's Employment Office at 401 South 3rd Street in Dequeen. Open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Pilgrim's is an affirmative action equal opportunity employer. Minorities and veterans are encouraged to apply. All right, well, this is it. Leopards down one with the basketball, 18 seconds. They have the ball under their own hoop. And uh, also talk this too many fouls to give, though, Greg. They got their six fouls, so we would shoot one on one on the next one. Looks like we're going to have another timeout called after Logan had a bunch of their defense. We're going to leave it here. It's a 30 second timeout, Greg. You know, Leopards. A lot of options here with 18 seconds. Do you, do you wind it down and, and, and play for a shot, or do you take your, the best shot you have the soonest so maybe you have a chance for an offensive rebound or something like that? I, I, I'm going to take the best shot. If I get a good opportunity, I'm going to take it. Right. I'm not going to wait till eight seconds and then, and then uh, you know, go into my my throat. I'm going to start my play right now. Look for a good shot. If it doesn't happen, you come back to start over. Again. And you can also foul. We've only got three team fouls, so it gives you an opportunity to, to foul and, and maybe get us on, on, on the inbound bad track. So I like your strategy. I like the way of thinking. A lot of people would, would wind it down, though. No. I, I, I just, not in this case, I don't think. Leopards, Cooper trying to get it in. He goes to Hernandez. Now Cooper Young, 15 seconds. Cooper winds it all the way back around to Patterson for three. No good. Fight for the rebound. Coffee Clock got it. That was number 25 on the rebound. That is Cody Bailey. That's the shot you got, though, Carly. We got it. We got a good shot. We got the shot. Nathan Patterson in the corner. Yep. Wide open. Nobody there. Just couldn't knock it down. Left the foul. I believe he's going to go on Monroe Barnett. Uh, that's kind of inconsequential now as uh, Tom Patak will, will have the basketball. They'll have to bring it in. they have to get it in. That's only the team foul on the Leopards. But the Leopards need the basketball back now. Yeah. yeah we got to use our fouls. Yep. Actually, we need to steal the ball. Yeah, we do because it, it'll, 
to, to, to get two fouls is probably going to take up most of our seven point five sets that is on there. Been a great basketball game. Had a great basketball game early. Girls won. Our girls won 40 to 38. And this has been, both these games have been just nail biters. Yeah. I mean, you can't have it much folks. this, a two point game, and you're down a one point game. Yeah. With a 7.5 seconds left. Each team has one timeout left, so we may not be done with the timeout situation. And we talked about Leopards have fouls to give them, so that's a great thing. No. no. Although you can be very aggressive defensively. They, they, they get it in the boat. They both be fouled. That play took one for three seconds. That's five team fouls on the Leopards. Fouls on Cooper Young, but that doesn't really matter now. He said they were quicker reflexes than Joseph Marshall. Uh, Trinidad gets the ball in to Burke. If they evidently like him to shoot the foul shots if there's any taken, that fouls with 3.9 seconds to go. And now the next one will send you the one and one. They get the ball into Burke again, and that play only took 0.3 seconds. So with 3.6 seconds, Hunter Burke will go the line and shoot one and one. He has 16 points on the night, though, but he hasn't attempted a foul shot here, Greg. Yeah, that foul is on Cooper Young. It, it matters. <laughs> Coach Lindley telling the official if he misses this shot, he wants to time out. Here's the shot to Burke. He's trying to nothing but that. 17 points for Hunter Burke. And the Kazatot River Eagles lead by two. That was a miss, and now we got a timeout Leopards. So the Queen does have a shot here, Greg. 55, se- or 55, 53, 3.6 seconds left in the basketball game. And uh, you, you got to. You got to somehow get a good shot in three and a half seconds. Well, I'll tell you what, we got two or three good three point shooters. I mean, you're going to have, I mean, uh, we no timeouts left. We have to be bringing it in from the baseline. That's exactly so, right. Whatever your best play is to get the ball to half court. Well, what we got to do is we got to make sure we hit somebody that's scoring that towards our basket, not back that way. That's, you're not going to have time to turn around and, and get a pass down the court. Maybe you set a screen for somebody yeah. headed that way. Yeah. Or a little football pass, baseball pass. Yeah. Down that way. If I were if I were the coach for Costa River, I would have my uh, I would have my if Lawrence stays in the he'd be standing on the free throw line. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, it playing back. So they're talking about the clock again, and it looks like they're going to take a little time off of yeah, that. Well, 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 you got to have a little time off yeah, of that. But, a but there was a rebound on there. So, and, and nothing came off the clock. Now, you can't really blame the clock keeper because that was a cat like reflexes that got that off there. Yeah. But uh should be something like 3.4, maybe 3.3. What do you think? No, I think 3.6 is good. <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, no, actually, you probably got three point three. Yeah, five point three seconds. They, I mean, they caught, they took off a half a second. But I can't argue with that. I mean, I have it's not very long. No, it's not. So three point one uh, seconds for, and the, the Eagles have chose not to put any pressure on the ball. All their pressures here, of course. Leopard's going to run a play here. They get the ball in. What a ball game! What a finish! But it's the Leopards. Nathan Patterson hits a three at the buzzer, and the Leopards win 56 to 55. What a game! Perfect play set up there. Oh, great play. Pull that back. Coach Logan Lindley and run the perfection. Pass to Sam Brown, who turned around, passed it to Nathan Kaiser, who buried the three pointer. Oh my goodness. 56 <laughs> to 55. <laughs> no denial left on the clock. I'll tell you what, if you wanted to call a scene tonight, you missed two good ball games. My goodness. Leopards win 56. To 55 over the Colorado River Eagles, a three-point shot from 
I don't know, maybe 10 feet behind the three yeah. ball line to, to end the ball game. Perfect play drawn up by Logan Lindley, Greg. I'm just telling you, it was uh, – it was uh, they got the ball to Sam. Sam got it to Patterson, and they did that all in three seconds. So, it's just uh, – I'll tell you, right. I'm not going to be able to talk tomorrow. Three point one, but we needed that point once. <laughs> we did, yeah. <laughs> we sure did. But a great, great ending to a two great basketball games. Absolutely. Man. Well, give us three minutes to, to help you wait the stats and get our breath, and and, uh, and we'll be back. Leopards win both ends of this one. Girls win 40 38. Boys win 56 55. We'll be back in three minutes. Every day. Chris Craig opens Pruitt's Food Bakery in Dequeen before most of her customers open their eyes. Heating ovens, mixing the batter, making sure every cake, pastry, and loaf of bread is delightfully fresh and tasty. It's what customers have come to expect from Pruitt's Bakery. Friendly, hometown service from people like Chris Craig. Creating more than made-to-order cakes. Creating made-to-order memories. Pruitt's Food, with locations at 500 East Colorado Drive in Queen and 201 South Park Drive in Broken Bow. Gentry Chevrolet hopes you and your family make some great holiday memories this year, the kind of holiday season you cherish for years to come. And if there's anything Gentry Chevrolet can do to help you make your holiday memorable, please let them know. Whether it's ordering the vehicle of your dreams or maybe someone needs a great pre-owned vehicle from their outstanding inventory or let their award-winning service department make sure your vehicle is safe and ready for that trip to Grandma's house. Happy holidays from Gentry Chevrolet and the Queen. Check them out on the web at GentryChevyInc.com. Are you ready for fiber to the home internet service? Four States Fiber is in the process of building a network to reach every Southwest Arkansas Electric Cooperative member. Bringing one gig fiber internet service to homes and businesses with unlimited data, free installation, and no contracts. From high school sports to the hogs to the pros, stay in the action as you stream your team to victory. Visit fourstatesfiber.com and click on check availability for more information. Four States Fiber, internet service you can be happy about. Some of my fondest childhood memories are from volunteering with my grandmother. Helping others was her passion. She'd always say, the sweetest fruits of life come from serving others. And she was right. At Shelter Insurance, we strive to make a positive impact in the communities where we work and live. Shelter Insurance agent Jeff Woods with the Woods Agency is a proud sponsor of this Leopard Sports Broadcast. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Or as we like to call it, the can't have just one deal. Mix and match a flaky sausage biscuit, savory sausage McMuffin, sausage McGriddles, or crispy hash browns. Want two sausage biscuits? Buy one, get one for a dollar. Want a sausage biscuit and hash browns? That's cool too. Choose more of what you love. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Prices and participation may vary. Valid for item of equal or lesser value. Cannot be combined with combo meal. We're proud to announce Howard Memorial Hospital now offers telehealth services so you can stay healthy while staying home. Easily access our telehealth portal from your smartphone, tablet, or computer to connect with your trusted providers. All you need is a valid email address to sign up. Telehealth visits are available for most clinic appointments, compass behavioral health services, and some emergency consults. Your health is our priority. Let us take care of you from the comfort of your own home. Visit howardmemorial.com slash telehealth to learn more. Tony, Greg, and Joe Blaze Bush are lucky charm tonight, Greg. I'll tell you what, first night on the on the broadcast, and, and we're just doing incredible things. Yeah, that's great. So we uh, win 56-55 on a last-second shot by Nathan Patterson. And, uh, Joe, what does stats look like? Uh, uh, two point two percentage is 47%. Uh, three points in the percentage. So great improvement. First half. Absolutely. 33 rebounds, assists, 11 turnovers, 8 steals, and 2 putting scores. Sam making 12 Ten, ten, including the game right at the budget. Yeah, you need to run this up and watch it on DQ later. Oh, ah. <laughs> and that was 12, Bailey coming with 10 and 17. All right, man. I, but, uh, this player thing has been uh, – um, <laughs> we milled this over. This was not an easy decision, Greg. No, no, no. But, no. 
if, if, if you if you don't agree with it, you need to go back and watch the last three seconds on DQ TV yeah, tonight. Right. Uh, uh, this is one of that. I mean, we could have picked several players. Absolutely. And we could have picked some players from the girls. That's game. what I was going to say. We could have done that. We could have picked several players. But our McDonald's player of the game tonight has to be Nathan Patterson. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, when you hit a 40 foot three pointer to win the ball game, you got to get an extra value bill out of the deal, right? Yeah, and, and not only did Nathan have, a, you know, he had 15 points, he had nine rebounds. Yeah, so, and uh, you know, so it, he wasn't just out there one play. He did a great job. Great job, great job at the end of the game. We could have given it to uh, Cooper Young, leading scorer with 19 points. Absolutely, for him, Graham the sophomore had a had a big 12 big ball game. 12 points, 11 rebounds, Tony. For Sam Gray, yeah, and uh, and on another night, yeah, yeah. that would have got you the yeah, leader one of them. Yeah, the leper player of the uh, leper player of the game. But uh, boy, tonight it was just it was Nathan Patterson with the yeah. clutch, 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 clutch. Yeah, uh, great, great, great. Well, you're great, right, you're right. Right. It, yeah, that'd be great. So, we're going to talk to him. Great, great to talk see, if he, to see if his voice is as hoarse as Tony's is. Yeah, you had him all the way, Coach. Yeah. <laughs> are, we, are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Hey, Coach Lily, how you doing, man? I'm doing fantastic. Hey, was that not a great finish to a great ball game? I don't think you could have scripted a better finish. Uh, I, I think you scripted it, didn't you? <laughs> that, that's exactly what you grew up, right? It is exactly what we grew up that uh we practice and play every day in practice. So when uh, preparation meets opportunity, that's what you get. Yeah. A, a great ball game. Got to give Constant River the Eagles. Got, they got a great team. Absolutely. They, great. they are tough. Yeah. They're only going to get better. So, yeah. so, so yeah. talk to us about some of the players. Obviously, Nathan Patterson was our McDonald's player of the game. Hit the game winning three. But talk to us about some of the other players that stepped up for you tonight. Uh, I'm telling you, uh, the first one that comes to mind for me is uh, our so- young sophomore, Sam Graham. Uh, we were kind of lagging there midway through the second quarter, and uh, he he just, you know, willed us to rebounds, putbacks, and, and, you know, put the ball in the hole when we really needed it when our, when we were struggling. And super proud of him. So, uh, proud of D.J. Morris and his interior defense. Uh, they're a load down, they're, they're load down there on the block, and he did exactly what we coached. We chest and wall up and. He did a fantastic job rebounding low post defense. Uh, you know, absolutely amazing job by those two. They kind of are like, but you don't really see throughout yeah. the game. Yep. Right. Cooper Young, leading scorer tonight with 19 points, did a good job. Yes, he did. Buried three after three. Uh, very impressed with Mo, uh, Monroe Barnett and his defense on number 13, uh, uh, Hunter Burton. Yes. After. Monroe, he, he's our, he's our cover the narrow guy, is what we call him. He, when we need someone to cover him up, he gets them. Yeah. A great, great job. Great game, Coach. So proud of the Leopards and the way they finished that game. Uh, congratulations and go Leopards, man. Go, go Leopards. Leopard pride, baby. Yeah. Thank y'all. Man, appreciate you. Sunday with that voice like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My voice is gone, too. Man. That's <laughs> right. Great, great game. Oh, <laughs> my. I think Coach Lindley was just a little bit excited. I don't, I'm not sure. But I <laughs> to remind you that our next broadcast of Le- basketball will be from Caddo Hills on November the 29th. And uh, the, the freshmen, both boys and girls, are set to be in action that day. Senior girls, senior boys. We'll see what the radio schedule allows as far as uh, what we'll broadcast that day. One, one real quick reminder that I, I, I kind of I think I misspoke just a little bit. Uh, both the junior high teams are going to be in action in the finals of the national junior high tournament tomorrow night. I believe it starts at 5.30. The girls' action starts at 5.30 tomorrow night. So, great night for Leopard basketball. A great night to be a Leopard. Yeah. The girls win 40-38. to 38. The boys win 56-55 in dramatic fashion. And uh, for Joe Blaine's Bush, our good luck charm tonight, Greg Revels, Tony Styles, and the board op- op- operator Hall of Fame, Jim Albert, back in the studio we want to wish you a pleasant evening. God bless and Leopard Pride, baby. Go Leopards. The Queen Leopards and Lady Leopards Basketball, proudly presented by Gentry Chevrolet. Online at GentryChevyInc.com. Nobody beats a Gentry deal. Warehouser, we don't just grow trees. The Woods Agency, Shelter Insurance. Are you covered? Check with Jeff Woods. 
the Queen Abstract Company. We worry about the details of real estate transactions so you don't have to. Bailey Discount Building Supply. Everything for the home builder and do-it-yourselfer. McDonald's. I'm loving it. Proud to present the Leopards and Lady Leopards player of the game. The Queen Church of Christ. Love, serve, grow. Harris Drug and Gifts, serving DeQueen since 1964. Pilgrims of DeQueen, a good employer and a top-notch corporate citizen. Ricky's Body Shop, Lakeside Drive, quality auto body repair since 1982. Diamond Bank, offering sound and meaningful financial services.